going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, a.k.a. WrestleManiac 11, buddy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Old school on us. Well, right WrestleMania, dude. Oh, my <laughs> God. I love, I love it. I yeah. love it. Hello, everybody. My name is Tony, a.k.a. Friday the 14th. Short and sassy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> S-A-S. Go ahead. And if y'all don't know me by now, allow me the pleasure to introduce myself. I am the podcast director, the mean gene detester. I am the one that will select a whiner, diner, and respecter. I'm Hot Mike Chance. Yeah! <laughs> I got to eat Holy to shit. I'm BJ the Holy DJ. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love Dude, that. I need I'm to excited. know something, Chance. I need to know it right now. Did you practice that in the mirror? And that was off the top of the dome. Don't, don't, lie. Lie. don't okay. you lie to me right now. No, no, no. Chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Wow. I mean, oh, I can't man. wait to see our face or no. like reaction. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that that's going to be the pocket watch. Yeah. 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 That yeah. needs to be your introduction had, every yeah. single pod. Yeah. I had, I had to do something. On, yeah. I, I'm going to need you to yeah. ghostwrite me a couple of raps. Though, <laughs> yeah, I mean, really. Nursery rhymes. I got I that it. one off of uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I love it. Hell yeah. Uh, wow. So we're, um, we're back, man. We're, this is an episode that we've been excited to, to, to do this is the wrestlemania 40 full recap episode i know we threw some videos up some live reactions of me and brandon Greatness. um yeah and shout out to brandon e he's working tonight <laughs> but we'll we'll implement those throughout the episode too so you'll get so brandon will be a part of the episode as well but we're um we're just gonna break down each match man we're gonna go from the top and go you know night one and then we'll go to night you know night two and then we'll speak briefly on raw i guess because raw was it, was, yeah. it, it wasn't what i was expecting yeah, anything, but, but uh, do we just want to say uh, the two uh, another two night WrestleMania? Uh, mm -hmm. Are we fans of the two night WrestleMania? I, I yes like and it. no. Yeah. Yes and no. Uh, if you go one night, are, are you gonna have you're gonna have to push it to what six hours for that yeah. one night? I'm fine least. with that. Do do if like because me and Brandon was talking about it. It was eight hours. Yeah. Two nights, eight hours, but easily. Two hours of that of matches could have been clipped off. That. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and where people were, and there's a bunch of people that weren't even in Mania. Yeah, and I get a lot of people were injured this year because when I was talking to Brandon, like, who's this guy? Where's yeah. this guy? Oh, he's hurt. Yeah, who's it? Where's Sheamus? He's hurt. Yeah, you know. What yeah, I mean? they just like, aired on Raw. Sheamus coming. Yeah, back. he's coming. He's, yeah. he's so coming back. I was curious. I thought Gloria. he had gotten released or something at one point, and I was, I was like, where has Sheamus been at? So, but yeah, uh, I mean, I'm a fan of the two night because in the past, I think they have scratched matches without any explanation because of timing. So yeah. this gives them the opportunity to have a little bit more freedom with time. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the two night as long as it's good. You know what I mean? Like stretch the matches out enough to where you're, you're not filling one card with every, all the great matches and you're spreading yeah. out a little bit. So Yeah. Cause going into WrestleMania, I honestly felt that night one was the better all around card mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. night two was, yep. and it was com it completely reversed in yep. my in yeah. my opinion. I the mean, matches saw, didn't live up to the the yeah, lineup. Do, to the height. Do you think night one flopped so bad that they were just like we got to deliver on night two? I think Triple H maybe gave a little uh, motivational speech to say, "Hey, uh, boys, y'all need to step it up. Y'all yeah. need to step it I, up." Well, I, I'll say, yeah, I, night one was. Rough. Other yeah. than the main event and the first match, everything else was. But I mean, you look at the card and you're thinking the only one, the match that I didn't really care about on that card was the Rey Mysterio. That's it. That yeah. was the only match on night one it like, going make, into. That was kind of thrown together. It didn't yeah. make sense pulling Don Mysterio out of the Judgment Day mm -hmm. in any capacity him. whatsoever. That's what he's there for. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. No, he's... it's not. It's a different <laughs> type, kind of hate. It just didn't make any sense. Like, I didn't hear the, the purpose of that match because he has not done anything out outside of Judgment Day yeah. all year. So why mm -hmm. throw him in a random match with just because of his dad? Exactly. That's Have it. them go one-on-one -on -one again. Like, mm -hmm. if you're going to do that. So like, Vince Lodge, he's Hispanic. Throw him in the match. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. That's it, it, yeah exactly. Yeah. The Spanish announce team needed something to talk about. Like yeah. you know, mm -hmm. For the 10 seconds that the table is intact. <laughs> <laughs> but, as okay, we'll go uh, the Philadelphia as a city. What are y'all's thoughts on the open-air stadiums for WrestleMania? I think it's cool. I think it gives an extra element to it. Yeah. Uh, but wait, before we do that, let's handle business. Real go quick. ahead. Go ahead. This episode is brought to you by Trouble Spirits. It is. Revolution One Media, The Natural Disasters, <laughs> both Gene Okerlunds, <laughs> Jimmy Hart, Brian Pillman, 
Sanchez and Turner, Turner. Sting, and Mr. Meat Sauce, R.I. to the P. Virgil. Uh, right in your face. Right in your face. I need breadsticks, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, open-air stadium. Open-air yeah. stadium. Now, what, I, what I'm attesting that to is, like, sound-wise, yep. do you think it kind of kills the – when you, it's like it, sometimes it doesn't feel like the crowd's into it because it's an open air stadium mm. where if it's enclosed, you're getting that constant yeah. crowd noise. Because I know uh, we talked, we were texting and everything Saturday night during the first match. Oh, the we're crowd not, was dead as fuck. I, I think, but I don't, I don't know if it was. Maybe they absolutely weren't. Maybe it's just dead. the sound in the open air. No, because night two, you heard them in night yeah, two. Though. I, that's, I agree. Yeah, night, that's true. Night one, the crowd like. I think they I don't the blame same. them though because some of yeah. most of the matches were horrible. Yeah, and it, and I think they felt colder. the same way. Yeah, yeah. and it, it was, was freezing cold. Yeah. I think they said what Michael Cole said it about fifty times during the broadcast. Yeah. Michael it was like Cole, forty five <laughs> degrees in the ring or something yeah. like that. It was like fifty something. In and with wind gusts coming yeah. into the stadium. Yeah. Uh, what I thought was pretty, I saw that video of the heaters that yeah. they had above mm-hmm. the ring and everything, which is a cool little feat. I, I mean, yeah, I guess you have to prepare for that. Because yeah. they could have got snow. They very easily could have got. That would have been so far. <laughs> I loved I saw on. I saw a picture of a guy who bought a ticket that said limited viewing. And he was like sitting right behind one of those lights. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't see a thing, man. That guy paid $500 for that ticket and couldn't see anything. I would have unplugged that light and threw <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. But, I mean, um, the stadium looked great. Yeah, I mean, it was, I like the layout for uh, the WrestleMania layout, the entrance mm-hmm. and all yeah. that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, it looked really good on TV. Yeah, everything. Yeah. I think yeah. they went overall presentation. I love the camera angles, uh, how they were yeah. working with different shots. I think it all looked great. It had like a video game feel to it, like the in ring shots with Challenger mm-hmm. and Champion type yeah. thing. It looked like a video game to me. So mm-hmm. you know, you could tell their experiment with different. Well, I know WWE. Tw- uh, 2K was one of the sponsors along with yeah. Prime. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. That Prime in the middle of the ring is crazy. It, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, 1. It's, 1.3 billion in sales last year. That's nuts. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's wild. It's as an old school wrestling fan, it's crazy, but I get it. Yeah. As as no, uh, it. where the WWE is yeah. going to, as it's the same with the UFC ring. You see the low. Uh, you see the sponsorships all around the UFC oh, yeah. ring as well, and. That's what we're evolving to with the WWE as well. Yeah, well, Logan Paul's bringing them so much money. There's no telling what kind of money he's. I'm completely bringing sold in. on that dude. And I, I'm I, sold. I, I, we'll I think he's too. earned. I, I think he's too. earned his. He's earned his stripes, man. He's showed that he can compete against anybody. I mean, he had the match with Roman when he first started. That was great. Uh, he's. I mean, the spots with Ricochet in the ring. Yeah. There's nothing he can't do. I mean. But going like you said, going back to the camera shot, me and Chance have talked about this one camera shot that they've been doing a lot. It's especially, I think they started with with Sami Zayn yep. or Seth Rollins. I think they did it with Seth Rollins first when he was coming through the. But that camera where they're falling from the back all the way out to the yeah. entrance, and then you're getting to see what the wrestler sees yeah. coming out and everything. It's so cool to me. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it just gives it a whole new life. Yeah. And a few weeks ago, they followed Sami Zayn to the back. And he kind of went past. I think it was a Judgment Day or some, something. And then they uh, they followed them back out. Yeah, so that's it was awesome. like yeah. all transition. It, it, yeah, I mean, uh, you could definitely tell there's some improved, like small things being changed and everything yeah. for the product. Something I really liked about this WrestleMania compared to other ones, it seemed like the timing was spot on. Like everybody had enough time. They didn't have a bunch of backstage segments right. that kind of bogged it down. It Not was a lot of filler action. at all. It was action. And see, back, back. I, we had, what, two more matches for, uh, Saturday night than we did on Sunday mm-hmm. night. And yep. we it went, went to about 1030 yep. Saturday night and yep. everything. So that makes, I mean, that makes sense with the timing and everything. And you know mm-hmm. how important the Raw after WrestleMania is? I think it's one thing we need to consider is the SmackDown before WrestleMania also helps finalize some of those feuds. And you also get the Andre the Giant um, Memorial yeah. Battle mm-hmm. Royal as well. So, I which, I mean, that. Bronson Reed won that. And I, I've i never been a Bronson Reed fan, but I actually the last couple with what he did in the Battle Royal plus what he did on Raw after Mania. Eh, he's a beast. He's, I he's can see them dude. trying to push him a little bit. So. He gives me Funkasaurus vibes. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, easily Built he could like fall that. into that. Yeah, he could easily fall yeah. into that. He's definitely yeah. noticed, Clay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the uh, – but let's get right into it, man. Yeah. This is going to be a long yeah. episode, so yeah. let's get right into Match it. Match number one, you start off with the women's mm-hmm. world title with uh, Rhea Ripley. Ray, is it Rhea or Rhea? Rhea, Rhea, Rhea Ripley, Ripley and Becky Lynch. Uh, I'm a big Rhea Ripley fan. She's I'm a superstar. Yeah. After this match, I, 
I'm I'm in I'm buying into the hype. Yeah. I've, not, I've not been a believer in Rhea Ripley or her character, but I'm, after that match, I mean, she's legit. Yeah, right. she's, she's, gonna, she's gonna be that way. She's gonna be there for a while. Yeah, I just hope that they don't. Bring, when Charlotte Flair comes back, they're just like, oh well, Charlotte Flair's back. We got to put the title. Yeah, back I think on those her. days are over. I yeah. think Rhea Ripley. She's, she's the, the whole second package. coming of China. As far as dominating the women's division, yeah. she's the second coming. And then, then you got Jade. Uh, oh, Rabbi, that's going to get. Dude, there's going to be a lot the, of the women's. The women's wrestling right now is to, it, it's top notch. I oh, mean, yeah. it's 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 way better than the men's tag division. Yeah, I'll tell you that yeah. much. Jesus Christ, bro. But but like th- this match was fire. I being somebody. So fun fact: this is this event is the first wrestling pay per view I've watched in probably four years. Right? Yeah. So like. When I last watched it, Becky Lynch looked completely – she looked sick. She had the aviator yeah. glasses. Bro, she's yeah. so skinny now. Like, she yeah. looks like – she looks ill. Me and Brandon was like – I think so. She may be sick, bro. She was sick uh, for this. She got, she was running like 102 temperatures. Okay, well, okay. I mean, she looked like but peaking. That's how like, she looks normally. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah. I think she's – I think her and Seth both uh, – well, we'll get into that. Tired. Are, They're probably are, tired. And that, and I think they're both uh, are going for uh, going to be gone off TV for a while, probably. Sure. Yeah, and you, um, you know, of course, I thought it was a dope match. The crowd was dead. I mean, that, they kind of got up a little bit for this match, but it was the first match. Yeah. And of course, Ripley won with uh, her finisher. I don't yeah, know the double called. finish. She did it off the turnbuckle yeah. first, yeah. and then did it all in the yeah. middle. Finally, of the got, got the pin, and um, it was great. It was a good I, match. I mean, it, I think it, for night one, it's a great. Match number one to start off the paper. And I think Be- I think Becky Lynch has carried the women's division for a long time. Yeah, um, she's been that safe space for mm-hmm. like them to put a title on her or have her dominate. Yeah, the man gimmick has ran its course, just like I feel like the Seth freaking Rollins gimmick has run its course. It's time for them to come back different this next yep. go round and just reinvent themselves again. So. Yep, I agree. And yeah. Seth Rollins is the master of reinventing oh, yeah. himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, Rhea's legit, man. She's yeah, uh, she's, she's a powerhouse. Women for a while. Her entrance was awesome with oh, her, yeah. with the band and everything with the live band is that it's, motionless and white i is believe that who it was yeah yeah um but yeah it's she's a superstar yeah absolute superstar Definitely. and it's it's tough to see anybody beating her i don't yeah. think she needs the judgment day anymore she's safe on her own i think she's oh, yeah. untouchable uh so I, you know that was the match of the night for me yeah yeah really it was yeah mm-hmm. well it turned out to be it was not my int- uh in- Picked match of the yep. night, but it turned out to be my favorite match of the night of night mm-hmm. one. And we're going. With that being said, we're going to take it to our uh, on-field correspondent, Brandon Evans. <laughs> All right, over the top exclusive. We're live here at the house of Brandon E. We're watching WrestleMania 40. We're going to give Brandon. Get Brandon, I'm going to need you to give me your reaction to the first match. Oh, I would love to give my reaction to that juicy, 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 <laughs> juicy first. I mean, that was a great match, Ray Ripley. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, actually, the match was a little lackluster. Yeah. Um, it had its moments. Rhea shows she's a star because yeah. she is a star. She is over like her over. Um, it's kind of weird to see Becky kind of have her decline yeah. these last few years. Still love her, still respect her. Um, but that match was nice and juicy, um, and it was just <laughs> – it was a good match yeah. to a certain extent. Um, yeah. Surprised that was the match that started off the whole thing. I wasn't expecting the women's match to be first. Yeah. And then if anything, I thought it would have been the Bailey match. I thought they would have been on first and, like, they would have been, like, night two. So I was kind of surprised to see a, a title match to lead off. Like I said, Rhea's a star. I don't see her losing a match even this calendar year. She's over. So yeah. it's a great match. All right, boom. Love Next that. match on the card. Oh, um, da. Man. Fucking awful. This next match was awesome. What is it? Six pack. Tag Six team. pack yeah. ladder match. Seven belts were on the line. <laughs> I was like, what is Pure going on? absolute. I, I, I don't even know all the names of the teams. Go ahead. Can y'all run them down? Y'all got them uh, you had the awesome truth in there. You shout out to shout out to R-Truth Love Dude. and Miz. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, Miz, worst spot judgment ever in the match, though. Yeah, judge- for an hour and messed the spot up, but go ahead. <laughs> you had the Judgment Day in there. Yep. You had A-Town Down, which is, which is a, uh, I hate Austin, Austin Theory. I hate yeah. Austin Theory. And Grayson Waller. Uh, DIY, the New Day, and then what was that? Uh, uh, it's Pete Dune and Tyler Bate. I'm not sure what their something name new. is. Something Republic, yeah, New, something. New like Pete that. Dunn, Pete oh, Dunn is uh, a superstar. Shouldn't have been Republic in the match. Shouldn't yeah. have been in the match is what that yeah. name should be. 
I mean, is this the extent of their tag teams? Is this all that they have? No, they've got so no. many others. They were just involved in other things. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but, I mean, it was a f- absolute. What about Chad Gable and uh, the big dude? Yeah, yeah. they didn't. They yeah, nowhere there. near. They, nowhere near. They, that would have been a great tag team to put in this. That's what I'm thing. saying. Can you imagine Chad Gable in that match? Oh, he would have been. Yeah. Like, that would have been fire, bro. Instead, you had. And then what, what gets me in this match uh, you had uh, the Judgment Day. They just completely disappeared from right. the match. Completely. I knew if they won these titles, we were getting a cash in. If they, I mean, if they lost those titles, we were yeah. getting a cash in. Mm-hmm. I yeah. knew that. I just knew it was coming. It's too predictable. Do they have a cash in for Money in the Bank on tag teams now too? No, no, no. no, no. no. I oh. knew that if oh. Priest and, and yeah, Finn and lost, Judgment they Day. were going to cash in. I mean, I guess technically gonna... they could cash in on the tag team titles. Yeah, if they can cash to. in on a title. You're... Yep. How random would that be? <laughs> Like, like just but, I'm going to cash in on the 24 seven <laughs> champion, which is not existing with all the botches in the time. match. You yeah. had, uh, what was it? Was it Grayson Waller that pulled the SmackDown titles down? And then he just sits there on the ladder, just standing there. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, you can grab the other titles if you want to there, buddy. It's that was, a, that was Pete, a fuck up, dude. Pete, uh, Dunn, Pete Dunn and his, t- his partner had the highest spot of that match where they did the double moonsaults off yeah. the ladders. That yeah. was the high spot of that match to me. At that in that fucking gimmick ladder that was sat on the side of the ring on the announce table the whole yeah. fucking match. You knew somebody was going through it. <laughs> and, then, and then when somebody does go through it, you can see the fiberglass. Yeah. All, and that ch- it's like, get the camera away from there. Yeah. Uh, but it's just a complete botch fest. I mean, as great as it was to see Miz and R-Truth win uh, the titles, it yeah. was it felt very forced. And yeah. yeah. This it, is what I hated about it, and I said it to you guys in the chat. I said it would be cool if we had two separate individual guys go up and mm-hmm. grab – Grab a belt, and then yeah. they come out, and we split the t- the tag titles up. Well, then they announce it on Raw, or one of them. They're, they announce it and say, "Oh, it's for uh, the Raw and the SmackDown titles." But the headline says, "Undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships on the line." Yeah, which means like if you take down one, you get, you get both. both. Maybe whatever. that's why that dude did that. Yeah, and they didn't. Did they just not ring the bell? Like, no, 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 no. It was actually set up to where the Raw were on. Like whoever won the Raw, uh, they won. But what I thought was, once they won, they were out. Yeah, they, they kept going like they were gonna win the SmackDown what, title. Yeah, and, so and he, the, he just paused there. He's just like, yeah. Did the guys that win it were they actually on Raw if they won they won the Raw belts or was it like SmackDown guys? That won the Raw belts? I, Either way, so if you won those titles, you then go defend them on that that yep. show. Yeah, it's, so it's such a it was so problem. random. I it, hate it, it, Austin Theory. I think Austin Theory is the biggest creator wrestler I've ever seen in my entire life. He's generic. Uh, he's corny, and nothing about him says superstar at all. Him and Grayson Waller, and both, both of them are trash. Yeah. Both yeah. of them. I mean, and they put the title on them. I get it, but uh, and I felt like DIY was like looking for spots all night. I didn't feel like they played a, a role. And both of those guys are really good wrestlers. Mm. Oh yeah, they're some of and the best. They are in the very world. underutilized. I mean, it doesn't make it's a WWE doesn't know what to do with those. Well, guys. the same with Finn Balor. That's mm-hmm. it. Yeah, the Finn Balor is one of the best wrestlers in the Judgment world. Judgment Day is one of the most boring factions I've ever seen in my life. Like Rhea doesn't need them, and Damian Priest is trash. Like it, I just don't. I don't get it. I don't understand them. They're boring together. Yeah. Uh, so that that match was an absolute fiasco. But show. I did. Mm-hmm. I will give myself credit. I did pick the pick the two winners of that match. Night one. Yeah. I was eight for eight oh, on picks. Yeah. yeah. I got them all. I got this wrong. Two. I mean, but. Uh, I felt like Miz and Truth were going to win, so shout yeah. out, I mean, shout out our Truth, man. He's entertaining. Is dude, our, I mean, yeah, he's just, he got the big. He probably got the biggest pops of the night during yeah. the match. Yeah. I love when he gets spots. on the apron and he's like trying to get tagged. In. I just, I love. Yeah, I and then love, he pins him. Dude, yes, I love what he does. It's, he's the comedy of, he's of the roster and everything, and it, it works. Yeah, he makes it work definitely. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, other than that, the match was just shoo. Motherfucking <laughs> shoes. Yeah, Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Second match was a, the six pack tag team ladder match. You want to talk about oh, that? Oh, good God Almighty. That might have been the worst match I've seen at WrestleMania since like Bob Backlund was wrestling because that was, that sucked. <laughs> Selfishly, selfishly, I was glad to see our truth have a moment. No, for sure. It took so long. I was so like, long. It was so many botches. Like Ch- Chess, it was bo- it was botchamania. One, two, three. They should make a. They can make a botchamania box set. A botchamania <laughs> box set off of just that match right there. Dude, there was a couple. Of, <laughs> there was a couple of cool spots. Like a couple of really cool high spots. Yeah, but. for sure. Pete Dunn is a star, man. I wish he was a solo act instead of in the tag team. Um. I think Damian Priest is a star. I hate, 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 hate seeing Finn Balor just not being used right now. 
But it still was so cool to see R Truth get that moment though. R Truth, yeah. you, you 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 make your character so lovable and so just want to be rooted on and cheered for. And I, yeah. I'm, I'm glad to see him have his moment for sure. So that so uh, Miz and R Truth won the Raw titles. Who won the SmackDown titles? The SmackDown titles was Grayson Waller. Um, yeah. And the uh, A Town Down guy. I'm drawing a blank of his name right now. Which. Uh, Austin Theory, Austin Theory is his name, which he was a huge star last year. That was like Mr. Man's pet. Kind of fell to the wayside a little bit, him, and uh, they're, they're starting to make their team. I was a little bit confused by the, the Raw and SmackDown titles both being on the on the flags at the same time. On mm -hmm. the, on the, you know, it was kind of a weird, just both setting up there. I didn't Because, like, the team got the title. Waller and, and Theory got the title. They were just standing there looking like idiots. Then they yeah. get slammed out of the ring. So it's kind of confusing. Like they're about to go up for the other titles. Like I don't, I didn't understand the rules of it. So that was kind of confusing a little bit on that. But besides that, it was still botch mania. But it had a couple <laughs> moments, and uh, I like seeing Coco beware. I mean, our truth had his moment. So <laughs> and then you had another terrible match right after that. <laughs> this yeah. was even worse. Snooze fest. This was oh. even worse. I, it's what the fuck was it? What I mean, why would Andrade and Rey Mysterio versus? What's what's that dude's name? Some Escobar. Escobar. Yeah. And Dominic names. Mysterio, which was I hate him. <laughs> and I hate him so much more than the Miz. And then <laughs> then you I had like the for some reason you had Jason Kelsey. <laughs> that Jason Kelsey <laughs> and the other worst <laughs> fucking worst ending to a match, dude. Why? Why, why could nobody Bryce Harper get, or somebody? <laughs> what did it? Why did they do that? I don't, I don't know. Here's what I got to under. I need to understand this. Now, I know me and Brandon talked about this, but explain to me why two Philadelphia Eagles offensive linemen in, 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 <laughs> under masks got in, interfered into the match for the baby faces yeah. to help the baby faces beat the what, – what <laughs> beat Dominic Mysterio. What kind of writing was that? I don't know who was in charge I'd of that I'd be curious one. to see who produced that match. I would love yeah. to And see nobody it. cared. Like, the ref didn't disqualify yeah, just nobody. Hop, hop the, Rey Mysterio <laughs> did his six, whatever he did, whatever the damn. Yeah, they could hop, the, hop the, the side rail, all that stuff, jump right into the match, and everything's hunky-dory. It's like, <laughs> what is going on right now? <laughs> uh, instantly, you knew it was Jason the, Kelsey. The ref was thought one. they were Rey Mysterio. <laughs> is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> I just like, what? I guess just because I haven't been watching it, but why the fuck would there be interference for the baby face. It don't make sense. When nobody interfered for the heels to where right. if, if there was interference on the other side and they came to the, yes. the aid, it yeah. makes perfect sense. Yes. But they just literally, they were getting their asses whipped, so they just came out. I'm just like, That's what? That's a good point. I didn't it even think about it that. Don't like, make it don't. make sense. It don't. I completely <laughs> agree like, with it. What, WWE? What are y'all doing? Yeah. <laughs> that happened a few times during this weekend. It right. did, bro. I think we've given that match more attention Yeah, I want to know who the producers was. Brandon's got one more thing to say about it. Go ahead. All right, we're back. Over the top. Recap of WrestleMania Night 1. We're going to do – this was the match with – what's it? what was it? It was a whole bunch of people who was in LWO that I never heard of with the exception of Rey Mysterio and his son. I didn't know any of them. I, I knew Carlito. Carlito looks like he just got done filming – a scene with Ron Jeremy in a porno movie, and he left his apples at, at home. That's what he looked like. Could barely move. What, what about I, Dominic? What about Dominic? What about him? You know how I told you how much I hate Mr. T? Yeah. That's how much I fucking hate Dominic Mysterio. You got the worst haircut I've ever seen in my life. I hate your guts. You suck. That was a terrible match. <laughs> what about that ending, though, bro? What about the ending? Tell him about I'm the ending. I'm sitting here going... What is who are these dudes that clearly was not Spanish that was under these masks? And all of a sudden, I was just looking at my buddy and I go, That looks like Jason Kelsey. <laughs> what I, did Chad, did Chad talk about this? Because so I explain to me, universe, why the babyface team, Rey Mysterio's team, needed two Philadelphia Eagles offensive linemen to beat up his son, throw him in the ring so they could cheat to win. There what is happening? What did I miss? Two in the year? feet taller. Two feet taller than everybody. A hundred pounds on them. Oh. You're in Philadelphia, and guess how much crowd reaction you got? What's five minus five? <laughs> zero. You got zero reaction from that. That was horrible. Yeah, this has been rough, man. This has been bad. This is like this oh, has been bad. Yeah. The only thing that's been good was like the first match. That's it. Rhea Ripley and, and um, Becky Lynch. So far, that's been it. It's been a dud. Uh, Jay Uso's entrance, the crowd was high. The crowd's been dead the entire night. I can't blame them. They've been dead, and so have I. Yeah. <laughs> he has risen. No, he hasn't. He has not risen. 
He's, he's not risen. Shout out to uh, my uh, Skittles that I'm eating for my daughter's Reese's. I mean, whatever you call it, Easter basket. That's the only thing that's risen, and this whole thing is the Easter candy. Um, but yeah, that's been pretty right. bad. Next up, we've got. Oh my god, dude! I was so hype about this. Uh, no. This was my. This was uh, going into night one. Bro. This was my most anticipated match. It was Ch- horrible. Dude. Chance, didn't- Chance has a, a a very valid reason as to why this match may not have went well. Um, he had mentioned that these guys have not been single stars long at all, right? Yeah. And you know, Jimmy hasn't wrestled very very much on his own mm-hmm. at all. Uh, and Jay's had some solo success, but. Um, these guys didn't – they don't have a move set, you know what no. I mean, other than working with a tag team. So, uh, to me, this is equivalent to watching Rick and Scott Steiner wrestle each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Battle of the Super Kicks. That's oh, it. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Cross body. First of all, they were they were wrestling at about 60% speed. Yeah. They weren't wrestling full speed. Me and Brandon were like, when are they going to start going? Like, they ain't even going. Yeah. Well, and, and then I, they just kicked each other for 10 minutes. I, That's all they did. I mentioned yeah. this about the, the – if you remember the Jey Uso and the Roman Reigns match – like it's a lot of slow build up. Like it's he's slow to pick him off the ground, and then he does a strong punch, and then he's just slow to do things. It's more about the cinematic and less about the actual wrestling. Like they could have chain wrestled all night, yeah, and probably put on a better match. But it was, it it was, was terrible. terrible. I, I, I was so high about this match because yeah. I'm in there finally getting, and then yeah. the match ended. And I was like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Shit yeah. was horrible. It was yeah. terrible. I think this was used to basically elevate Jay because I mean Jay's the hottest merch seller right now. Crowd interaction yeah. wise, he's the hottest thing going. Uh, definitely could see a singles run with him and a, a secondary title. Uh, I mean, of course, he's the number one contender now for the world heavyweight title. But I, I think he this was mainly to build him up. I think so. I think they were, it, at first I was like, were they are they trolling AEW because uh, it, it was a straight up AEW match. Like they did the thing yeah. where they just hit each other yeah. and. Yep. Then, they uh like everything, all the super kicks, yep. just oh, same God, moves over dude. and over. Yeah. It felt and then just like a kneeling match. in the middle of the ring, and it's like dude, you know you what's, know what's gonna happen. You, know what's you coming. fell for that, like really. Like, that, that's the thing that I had a problem with being somebody that hasn't this watched wrestling his whole life and then hasn't watched it for four years. Yeah, some of these for this to be WrestleMania, the writing to some of these matches was so lazy. Bro. Yeah. Oh, I agree. That yeah. was the laziest shit yeah. ever, and the the Kelsey shit was lazy. Yeah. I don't it know, just it, made no I, sense, bro. I, I don't, I don't it, that in the writing, or I, like you said, I don't know if Jimmy just can do it as a solo guy. Right, he may not just what? he may not be a good solo wrestler. You know what I mean? Like him and Solo Sokoa could probably put together a team and be legit yeah. again. You know, I would what I mean? have much like, rather have seen a handicap match. Yeah, with with, with them Jimmy two against and, and, Jay. Yeah, or, yeah, or, that that or a triple fire. threat match. Yeah, or, or, yeah, yeah. So, like, or yeah, a handicap with with uh, like put stacked solo, the odds against because Solo wasn't even like, in the match. Yeah, because someone has said yeah, Solo did. Solo's lost like fifteen straight matches or something yeah. like that. <laughs> like he's been on the worst losing streak since losing to Cena. And, <laughs> dude, I got to be honest too. Well, we'll talk about it in the main event, but yeah, the Usos match was was a big. I was disappointed too. That was very disappointed too. And then uh, yeah, we'll get into my opinions on on them in night two in a second. I think I thought they were dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, all right, we're back, guys. Over the top recap. Oh my God. We got two more matches for you uh, with Brandon E. Ye <laughs> worst match ever. Usos. Ye What? Worst super kicks ever. Worst sale of I'm hurt, brothers. But worst match ever. No crowd reaction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like Mo versus Mabel in a, in a Falls Count Anywhere match at 10:31 a.m. on Saturday morning watching Superstars. Worst match I've ever seen. Bro, I was in the fourth that match. Dude, I was too, bro. And then the whole he fell for the that was awful. Shout dog. out to Little Wayne's ball spot when he came out. By the way, <laughs> that made me feel so much better for going bald. That was the worst match I've ever seen. Dude, I can't believe that's how they booked that match, bro. They just seemed like they were moving at like a step behind the whole match. It makes no sense, dude. It makes they're no so sense. Good. They're so talented. That was a really, 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 really bad match, though. Like, I'm really, really like All it was was match. super kicks and super worst kicks spear of all time. Worst, dude. You know, worst spear. The hemisphere, the stratosphere. The Roman Spear, the Edge Spear, the Any Spear, Britney Spear, Jamie Lynn Spear. <laughs> was that terrible. was the worst spear I've ever seen in my life. 
Yeah. The next match is actually one I was really excited about with uh, Bianca and Jade and Naomi. I think that's a force to be reckoned with, and yeah. I think they need to be together on more things uh, with more matches. Damage Control having a threesome faction is, is great. They're, I think they're a cool faction. But now that they've got it's no contest that, against those. No, three. them three. No, and well, Jade is a superstar. Dude, it, it, the Jade is it Cargill? Cargill, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cargill. If she is not going up against Rhea Ripley for the title soon, yeah, bro, yeah. that that chick is unreal. Yeah, I think she's still a little green. She's got some work to do. But putting yeah. her is with she, Bianca, yeah, is she Glacier? No, I think she's going to be a oh. superstar. Did you say she, is she Glacier? Yeah. <laughs> that entrance. <laughs> that entrance. Yeah, yeah. but oh, she's no, a physical good. specimen. Good, I mean, yeah. I, but I think putting her with Bianca is a perfect mix to yeah. let her learn the ropes yeah. with mm-hmm. Bianca. But I think her down the line, yeah, her and Rhea Ripley yeah, in the match, you're yeah. talking about money. I don't know it's if it's a dominant standpoint. There's nobody, that, there's nobody that could fuck with her logistically. Yeah. yeah. Except for Rhea Ripley. There's nobody there, else in the Bianca. Her look is fucking amazing. Her, Charlotte, She's Bianca will all three have great matches together. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with her past, Chad, at all, because I don't know. Brent said she was in AEW. So mm-hmm. she was she had a Goldberg type undefeated streak in AEW. Yeah. Yep. Like, I mean, unbelievable. Couldn't be beat by anybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, she just towers over everybody. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, she's got potential to have some really good feuds. Uh, I'm glad she's there, and they'll do her right. I Fun mean, fact, you know who she's married to? Um, the dude from Street Profits. No, no. That's oh, Bianca That's Bielair. Bianca Okay, who are you talking about? Brandon okay. Phillips, former second baseman of the Cincinnati No Reds. way. God. Mm. Okay. Really? Yes. Oh, boom. I didn't Stat, know that. Yes. Stat filler, dude. Yes. I like it. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah, like She's and, a superstar. And, she's, and I just think was the right opponent for them. And mm-hmm. I just think Naomi got the short end of the stick in that. I think she has since she got back. Uh, but but I mean, Na- She looks pro- completely different than she did when I was And I think Naomi, Naomi's the best wrestler yeah, yeah. out of all of them. Yeah. Uh, Bianca's great, yeah. but I think Naomi as a wrestler is probably the best out of all of them. Yeah. I'm trying to remember who. I mean, I know the Bianca and them won. I mean, uh, yeah, Bianca and them won, but would, did Jade get the win for them? Yeah, yeah, she got yeah. the pin. Yeah, yeah. she got the yeah. pin and everything. Yeah, of course, they made her look super strong. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, like I said, I think – I was excited about that match to see them three working together, um, those two teams both. And I like Asuka. I think Asuka's a great great wrestler as well. Her She's look been is another, awesome. She's been another one that's carried that women's division. Yep. She is. She was the dominating woman for many, many years. Yep. Um, so, just, yeah. Yep. All right, over the top recaps. We're back, dude. Brandon, this next match was, who was it? That was Jay Cargill, Bianca Belair, and Naomi versus a whole bunch of other people I don't know. Asuka, damage control. Sorry, damage control. There was some damage control done to my brain watching that match. That's why I think I just had a, a little relapse in my in my thought process there. <laughs> nope, nope. Um, that wasn't bad. No, it wasn't. Jay Cargo's a beast. Bro. Yeah, that's, she's a beast. She, she's AEW dropped the ball on that. Um, they definitely had a, a something going there. They messed that all up. I'm a big Bianca fan, mm-hmm. period. Like, it was just like a short match, kind of like to get Jay Cargo over, but I like watching Bianca. She's fantastic. Yeah. Naomi's always been underrated. She's great. They don't use Oscar like they used to. Um, that's just part of it, though. Can't everybody be on top at the same time? The female division looks great right now. I actually did appreciate that match. It was short and sweet. This has been a glorified episode of Sunday Night Heat so far. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much all it's been yeah, it's all been, night. There's, I think there's only two matches left on night. This morning. is WrestleMania negative 40 is what yeah. this has been. <laughs> but anyway, like, yeah. still a decent match. Whatever. You got the... the, the the Intercontinental title match mm-hmm. with Gunther and Sami Zayn. I'm a big fan of Gunther. Uh, yeah, th- big fan both of them. Dude, his body transformation from when he came into WWE to where he looks like now yeah. is unreal. Yeah. It's a totally different person. Yeah. Dude, I couldn't – I was telling Brandon this. I couldn't tell if that dude was 25 or 71. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we looked it up, and he's 36. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> Have you seen the pictures of him before he no, got into – when he was him? Walter. Yeah, when he was Walter. I mean, he was just – he was wearing, like – the the one piece trunks, but he was a hefty boy. What's crazy is I think since he's been in WWE, he's held a title. He held mm-hmm. that United the Kingdom UK, t- yeah. title, and now United. he's had the, yeah. <laughs> so they had a UK edition of yeah. NXT, and he was their champion. And he's had the Intercontinental cha- Championship for what six hundred something days, mm-hmm. six hundred sixty six, six hundred sixty six days. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think you know, Sami Zayn. This was a this was an opportunity for him with what all he did for the Bloodline. It made sense. Uh, putting the putting the title on him and pulling off. Gunther's ready for the next step. Oh yeah, most Sammy definitely. Sami Zayn needs yep. a title to really help elevate him more. 
Um, but he's proved he can go in the main event too. So yeah, uh, I, I, didn't, th- I knew that it was going to happen. I had a, I, I didn't know anything about this match, but when I saw him interacting with his son backstage, yeah. I was like, "There's no way they're oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't show his son." Dude, that camera. That's going back to that camera angle yeah. where yeah. they did that, and then Kevin Owens being right there at the entrance. Oh right there, man, dude. that. That was so, that I, I, spot on Raw oh, made me so him in the face and I, shit. That oh shit was no, no, great. that that was night two. Yes, yeah. Ah, so, yeah. oh, they they fumbled that opportunity. Yeah, right there, I mean, yeah, but it was, uh, K, KO was right there at the entrance. Yeah. Right, he was like, "It's awesome. your time." That's awesome. And, and then they followed. You could definitely tell the camera messed up when he came yeah. out because it got all pixelated. Yeah, but I, it's one of those. I can't imagine what that feeling is. Walking out on that entrance and seeing all those people, seventy thousand people yeah. like yelling for you yeah. and shit. Yeah. It's just unreal. But it was it was a great. I didn't like so much of the interaction with Walter and Sammy's wife. Yeah, it's like it, you're showing that way too much. Yeah, and that's what I didn't like about the main event and the Rock's involvement with Cody's mom. Like, what does she have to do with anything? Yeah, well, I didn't like that. Yeah, uh, but yeah, same as same with that with Gunther and. Um, Sammy's wife. I was just like, well, what's the point in that? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I, just, yeah, I think I think this match was like the third best of the night. I, I think agree. It would be, to me, it would be the main event, and then the first one, and then this one. Yeah. Or you could interchange the main event. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, w- I wish they wouldn't have had this happen at the WrestleMania that Cody won on. Also, oh, yeah. Because it, I think yeah. it, it's kind of a similar – vibe to to that story i agree and yeah just a, like i don't know it just kind of i think story. it kind of took away from, uh, like with his, from with cody rose and his kid and stuff. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. just right. you know him him knocking off the uh champion yeah, like that, yeah. That, that, yeah. that's been oh champion yeah, that, for a long time so it's like they both did yeah, it. yeah. yeah. well yeah. i mean they kind of needed a title change on night mm-hmm. one some yeah yeah that's true yep. yeah i mean at that point i kind of felt like I just had a feeling Cody was going to win the title, but I just knew I knew Logan Paul wasn't going to win. I was like, I don't think he's going to win this thing. Although I'd love to have seen Kevin Owens win, but uh, I just don't. I didn't feel like once he once he lost, I was like, yeah, Paul's probably not going to win. All right, question of the night for y'all though: How much would it cost to take a chop from Walter? Or I mean Gunther. I Gunther. mean, I, I how mean, much would it cost? If I'm hard up for money. How much? I, how much oh, would ten thousand dollars? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably do it for twenty bucks if I needed it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. God, dude, if they say Chad, go in there and take your shirt off. Go in there in front of seventy-two thousand people. We're gonna give you ten thousand dollars. Let him chop you in the in the titty. Yeah. <laughs> right. Make dude, sure they put chops. my social media tags on the bottom. It'll be red as fuck, but I'll have ten bands. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. dude, they are so brutal. He's got yeah. some of the best. Like, oh, dude, it's all it's tough. Man. All right, dude. So we got two matches left to talk about. Um. Was the Sami Zayn match and Gun- is yeah. it Gunther or Gunther? I, I mean, they say Gunther on there. <laughs> he used to call himself Walter. Did he really? Walter? Yeah, his Walter name's Gunther. So he's Walter Gunther. Well, tell you one thing is, he's an ex champion because he got big. <laughs> that was actually a solid match. Great right? match, great yeah. build up in the back. It kind of, kind of, sort of gave it away that I thought that he would lose since they did, you know, with the kid. Oh, at the beginning, yeah, with his But son. sometimes it doesn't matter. Because that's sometimes, you know, that could go either way. He's been undefeated for so many years, you just never knew. So, mm-hmm. um, pretty solid match. Could have been a little bit longer, like my buddy Tony said. It could have been a little bit longer of a match. But um, I was overall pleased. It's not the person I thought that he would have lost to. He's been undefeated for so long. Mm-hmm. I didn't think that would be who he would lose to. I thought it would be Rick Martel or, or, or Tito Santana, who he would have lost to. <laughs> but um, Tito, Santana. Tito Santana couldn't win a scratch off <laughs> at a damn... Philip 66. That's my dog, Timbo. Everybody, Timbo, want to say hi on the podcast? He, yeah. he didn't have much to say. He just sniffing pizza. Yeah. But, yeah, overall, solid match. Um, I I think Gunther's ready for the world title picture, so we'll see what happens on that. So, But a uh, solid match overall. And yeah. Timbo, you want to say anything? He, he won't talk. He won't wear clothes. Yeah, he just <laughs> walks around naked all the time. Free so. balling, dude. Oh, before we move to the, to the final match, um, Brandon was saying something to me too about going back to that first match with the. He said he read somewhere or saw something where they were thinking about putting the belt back on Becky, but I guess the moment the crowd was so, like the she the other Rhea's so over. Yeah, and I guess they just decided. Well, everyone like, yeah. everyone wanted Liv Morgan in that spot mm-hmm. instead of Becky, 
It was she, when she came back last yeah. night. So everyone wanted it to be Rhea and Liv and not Becky. People are getting tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Becky has been in a match in WrestleMania for the last six years. Yeah. yeah. Liv Morgan is the hottest thing going right now, and she is. Was she hurt or something? Yeah, she's yeah she's hurt. She came back last night. Yeah, so she came back yeah. last night, and I don't know if she was storyline hurt or actually hurt, but. You know, she had some. Well, good she's been out for a while, though. Hasn't has she? she? No, yeah. she. I thought she was there. I think she's been out for. I, think I thought they, she lost the qualifier to Becky. No, I think they said last night that she's been out to almost almost a year now after a, a, a injury she got from Rhea. Oh no, no, she's been back. Oh, so okay. she came, So I think she lost the qualifier to Becky, and the crowd was booing. Oh, yeah. uh, so gotcha, they gotcha. just people are tired of the same thing over and over again. And Rhea, uh, Rhea's so over. She needs an antagonist. Becky is just like. Like the whole build up for the for that match bothered me because it was Becky trying to prove that she's the man. Yeah. Like I said, that gimmick's over with. Yeah. It's gone. Like it it worked with the Charlotte feud. That's yeah. great. Her her dad's the man, so it made sense. But, you know, Liv should have been in that spot. I think the match would have been equally as good. Liv is over. Yeah. Um, I agree. But yeah, so we'll see that. Liv Liv's coming back and you know, we'll see that. So But yeah, like um I like the Sami Zayn match. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was a great it was a good match. Yeah. It was I there's it was both like of those you said, guys it was the top are great of the list. workers. Yeah, great it was workers. at the top of the list for night one. Yeah, yeah. And then you got the the main event. Okay, so I read I was when we were watching the pregame for day two, right? They said, and I, I think this is what they said: the main event, this main event we're fixing to talk about, is the second longest main event in WrestleMania history. What was the yeah, first one? I, 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 it had Sean, to be the Iron it, Man yeah, match. Iron Man. The, yeah, I guess, Shawn okay. Michaels. Uh, well, I felt like both hurt. the main events went long. Well, the, yeah. The, well, yeah, that was that was before night two yeah. happened. So gotcha. like, but yeah, so we're at the main event with Seth Rollins, who was used three times in this two night event. Right? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. which is way too much. <laughs> He's the Seth workhorse Rollins of the WWE, though. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. But then you got. I, I, you know, I know you're not a fan of his his gimmick. That's that the he worst has attire going. of all time. Yeah, of all time. What was that <laughs> thing on his shoulder? That's all I want. Night know. two was worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, with the whole band. Night and two was worse. And yeah. yeah. Well, he's the Monday Night Maestro. It's he's the whole the what is it? Monday Night Rollins. Yeah, Monday Night. Yeah, I mean it's it's mm. he's uh, a visionary. It's not my favorite. It's not he's my the favorite. Architect. Gimmick. Yeah. So you had it's Ro- not my favorite gimmick. You had Rollins and Rhodes <laughs> against Reigns and Rock. Yep. And then Rock's I, entrance was fucking fire, though. Yep. If, if Reigns and Rock won, then it would be Bloodline mm-hmm. Rules. If, yep. if if Rhodes and Rollins won, it's just one on one. Which I which everybody I, knew the outcome of this match. Yeah, yeah. 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 I hated yeah. that they didn't clarify what Bloodline Rules meant. Yeah, and they, they didn't take, take advantage. Cheap. Whatever, yeah. Yeah. whatever you want to do. And then when Brandon started filling me in, because you know I haven't been watching, he was like, "Dude, I am so tired of this Bloodline shit." He said, "Chad, I'm not exaggerating." Every match is the same exact thing. Yep. They just yep. come in and cheat. Yep. No refs don't do nothing. Yep. And I was like, this is, he said, it's been for three years. It's been doing yep. this. They yeah. have dropped the ball twice, at least twice already, where they could have ended this thing and built up the person involved in the. But they haven't done it. They've just kept it going. It's insane, yep. man. It's, it's stupid. That, that so, going on to the match though. I thought the match was dope. I mean, to yeah, me, it was the best match of the of the night. Yeah. I, like, it, I thought the storytelling was cool. Forty four minutes. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I mean, and took a bump off a table. Dude, took a rock I, bottom off a table. I was talking when we were talking when we were watching. I was like, bro, I bet the Rock don't even do a whole lot. And Brandon was like, I don't know. I think he probably will. Yeah. yeah. And dude, Rock, I ain't gonna say Rock carried the match. No, but Rock. He put his. He put I his, mean, he did just as much as everybody did. Because he's what fifty six. Yeah, he's fifty six. It's hard to think about the Rock being fifty six years and old. And two hundred and eighty six pounds. And solid. Dude, looked he fucking. I don't know about his gimmick going to the ring. That whole yeah. bell bot. I was like, please take the bell bot. Dude, please those tell me pants he had on. I was waiting yeah. for the, the shoes with the goldfish. <laughs> <in them. laughs> I was like, please tell me you're taking these pants off and but, the new Brahma bull belt. No, uh, <laughs> shoo shoo! Balls. Him carrying around that belt. I, I'm like, yeah. dude, everybody, everybody. I love how Brandon. Yeah. Brandon called it the participation trophy. <laughs> everybody, everybody <laughs> has a god dang belt, dude. Yep. Everybody. Yep. Is <laughs> making stuff up. I'm I'm the Muhammad Ali champion. I'm like, what? <laughs> I, but he went. I, I'll give it Rock the pro. I mean, he did have a couple little mistakes here and there. But he can't when he tries to run to do that. Dude, was like, it does the, not look when at he all took the, the Cody cutter. Yeah. Oh god, that was bad. He, it was slow motion of him diving yeah. to take the Cody cutter. Was, I literally <laughs> think, and this is what is shitty about it. the Rock. They literally. I don't care what anybody says. WWE created that whole thing about Muhammad Ali. 
saying Rock was this and that to give him that god dang belt. Oh, yeah. Because he wasn't fighting for a belt, yep. and he w- and his pride wouldn't let him not have a belt. <laughs> yep. So they created that shit. That was not that never really happened. <laughs> or if it did, it's like you don't it carry it around. Yeah. You didn't win it's it. It's just to gain heat. And That's he's, all it, he's, is. it was, but yeah. it was just like. And he's walking around. He just, he, dude, he's, I love Rock Hill. No, I, I do Holly. too, but I was just Final like. Final boss, bro. whatever you want to yeah. call him. I, I lo- Here's I, what I I'm, this is where I hate when like WWE doesn't fully think out storylines. Like if he's truly the final boss, then why was the match over when Cody pinned Roman? Why didn't Rock say, "Oh, whoa, 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 whoa"? You may think you won the belt. I'm the final boss, and then like we yeah. could have had a whole other match. I was, yep. you know, just well, and another thing too that I didn't think again WWE booking. This is coming back from four years off and watching it. Why? Did they make it to where Cody got pinned? Yeah, yeah. Instead yeah. of Seth so Rollins, that, yeah. that made me mad. So yeah, they pinned like, Cody night one. Yeah, and then it's like Cody's the one you're trying to make look the strongest out yep. of everybody. Exactly. You don't pin Cody. You 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 cheat Cody or whatever, yep. and you pin Rollins because he's been y'all's whooping cushion. Yeah, the whoopee whole time. Cushion. Yeah, the, he's been. I mean, <laughs> the whooping cushion. Yeah, but there was whoop- so <laughs> much. But there's so much beauty. There's so much beauty in Cody and, being the one to get pinned and to pin them clean. Yeah. Clean in the middle they didn't of the cheat. Ring. They yeah. didn't yeah. cheat yeah. to win. Yeah. That that's what. But they, they used their cheat code with, with Kelsey when he yeah. cheated for the good guys. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like that's when you cheat. Any other time we would we wouldn't want y'all to use bloodline yeah. rules and cheat. And this time you didn't do it. Yeah. And, and and Cody loses clean. And see, my whole theory going into this main event was that. Cody and Seth were just going to get the ever loving shit beat out of them, like, yep. like dr- just dead in the ring. Where you're thinking, there's no way in hell Cody's going to win tomorrow night. Right. That was more bloodline rules than night yeah. t- than yeah. night two was. And I thought, and I thought the cash in was going to happen during the match too. Which after we'll well, get to after that. it ended the way it did, with Cody kind of sitting in the ring and Seth sitting in the ring, and they just looked like. What, else, what are we going to do? Yep. Yeah. I knew. I was like, okay, there's too much attention on this particular moment. They're not going to cash in today. Yeah. I think night two, the cash in was absolutely perfect. Yeah. For yeah. several reasons. Are we done with Robert? Well, yeah. so. What was Brandon's thoughts on, night, uh, on the main event? All right, dude. So, night one's finished. We just finished the main event, WrestleMania 40. And thank God for that last match. Yeah, man. Because that match saved night one. Yeah. Night one had its moments, that's for sure. It was a little hit or miss, that's for sure. But that match was really good. I it was dope, man. I was wondering, it, it was taking a minute to get going, and I know it's because they were trying to fill time, obviously, you know. Yeah. And the crowd went definitely silent a little bit. I think some of it, honestly, too, like, I think the crowd can make or break an event. And sometimes mm-hmm. you don't get crowd reaction. It can throw people off. I'm not saying that necessarily was the case on some of it tonight. But there was times where we were looking at each other and we were going, that was great. Yeah, the and there was, was dead. zero. I don't know if it's just overkill. Like, you get three hours of Raw. You get two hours of SmackDown. You got mm-hmm. 18 hours of a Hall of Fame ceremony. You got all this build up. It's just so much stuff. And add that to like maybe overexcitement and maybe some dull moments where it can get the crowd dead. I don't know what's if that's the case or not, but that match was pretty good. I'm not yeah. gonna lie, it's really good. It leads to a lot of what ifs tomorrow um, yeah. with that final match. It's gonna be really good. There's lots of good stuff to go on tomorrow night. We'll see what happens. But uh, my only thing I want to say is Seth Rollins does not look healthy. No, he looked rough, bro. Yeah, I know he. I didn't know he was hurt till you said something. I just knew he was moving slow. Yeah, he's been he, he's been very limited for a while. I think he is um, definitely taking one for the team for this. You know, there's a lot of injuries with Punk. And even though originally it was supposed to bench Seth Rollins and see him Punk. That would have been fire. That would have been a fire match. And there's so many injuries. There's so many fluke things happened this year. But like I was saying, I think a lot of it attributes to there's too much there's too much wrestling on every week. Yeah, and, it's way too much. And, but I, you know what? That was a great match. The last two ended well. Like I said, you know, the first match, the women's match, was really good. There were some hit and miss things throughout the, throughout night one. Night two definitely should be better. Night two should be better. Overall, night one, I'll give night one a C. Yeah, it was mediocre. Because yeah, there was, four, was there was mediocre. four shoe shoe matches and there was three good yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah. So I'd give it like a C. I'd give it like an average. But it was uh it other than the main event. In the first match, yeah, it was like an episode of Raw, yeah, or something, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brandon says Sunday Night Heat, <laughs> what you're, what you're gonna Velocity. see, free for right all, AEW Dark, yeah. <laughs> put it on YouTube for free, oh, yeah. Man. But uh, 
Boom. It, it was very me- very of, mediocre. What is WWE Speed about? What is that about? I don't know. Dude, we is looked it, at each other and we saw that and was like, what? Is that twi- it's on Twitter or something like that? Or yep. X? It's, yeah, I haven't watched it yet. Though. In the middle of the Probably day, during the week. Shoot. I'm like, what? Like, like people Byron, got, like Byron people Saxon got is going to be hosting it. Oh, man. <laughs> and them daggum suits. And they're gonna have a title for that too. They're gonna have, they're gonna have a WWE Speed, <laughs> the speed title. Championship. Speed Championship. Lord have mercy. Oh man. Oh. But yeah, we'll go to uh, well, night two. Man. Let's get right into it. Boom! It just sent it right off to get over with the heavyweight title. Oh, before that, oh, there was a big surprise that happened before anything. Warren Treaty came out and sang "America the Beautiful" or something that was the worst rendition <laughs> of that song ever. And then Stephanie McMahon's music hit. Boom! That was the surprise yep. of all of WrestleMania, in my opinion. Yep. Was has she not been been around? And no, no. oh no, no. she's no. been gone for a while. Yeah, yeah, ever since the whole Vince stuff popped up. A- anytime before Vince then, comes, she stepped away. Yeah, anytime yeah. Vince, Vince came comes back, ever since all the shit with Vince. When Vince literally. came back with the mustache. <laughs> Like yeah. Stephanie had stepped away from her position. First of all, Grand Theft Auto boss. Is what he was. <laughs> <laughs> That's Get the final boss. boss. <laughs> he looked. He looked like. He looked like Bowser. <laughs> like Bowser was a person. Oh, man. They, um, she left from embarrassment. That's what. Well, I, I mean, that, I, it I, made I, sense because Trip, We didn't. We didn't talk about, it, but Triple H yeah, came out yeah. at the beginning of night one, so it made sense for Stephanie to come out night two. But I didn't know she'd been around. She'd been gone. Been gone. Like yeah. she stepped away from the CEO position. Vince came back. Um, and then all that stuff happened with Vince, and he had. Well, we were all talking that uh, we were like, "This is going to be the first WrestleMania ever without, without a McMahon." With, without a McMahon yep. And then she Boom. comes walking out. She was at the Hall of Fame, also. Yeah, oh, yeah. she was, and she had that ECW hat mm-hmm. on. And I tell you what, for as old, she's still looking pretty, pretty oh, good yeah. too. Is uh, keeping it together? Yeah, <laughs> she keeping it real nice. <laughs> keep it right, keep it tight. But uh, her intro was great, uh, doing the whole Triple H thing and everything. Yeah. And then that leads right into the heavyweight title match. Man, and I'm telling you, the outcome of this one was exactly how I thought mm-hmm. it should go. Uh, yeah, you got the just, X Factor, CM Punk, yeah, ringside, yeah. the X Factor. Greatness. Right? And he's got issues with both guys. And I love the fact that the cash-in didn't happen on Rollins. Yeah. Yep. Because Rollins, of course, like you said, had been used multiple times already. He took a fucking beating yes. in that match. You just knew that it was going to happen. And Drew yeah. McIntyre... Although he does deserve a run, I'm so glad that they're going to continue this thing with Punk and just keep him out of the loop for that. Yeah, Priest cash in after Punk's involvement, I thought was fantastic. Was the best. I way didn't to do see it, it coming. I, I was like, yeah. there's a reason why that he's sitting yeah. over here on this announce table. Well, and- as, as soon as Punk came down there to announce, I knew something was, and I didn't even know the storyline between him and Drew McIntyre. But when we when they were sitting there talking, and Michael Cole literally says. The reason that you've got that cast is because of that guy in the ring. And I'm like, well, that's obvious. Yeah. Punk's obviously going to fuck up Drew yeah. McIntyre. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's just threw that whole... alley oop, Michael Cole. Well, yeah, since the Rumble, he, uh, he Drew McIntyre. Shirt. He was wearing that shirt where it said something about RIP to CM Punk or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I it, love Drew McIntyre. Seth looked, Seth looked rough the night before with his knee. Yeah. And the way it looked, when, when he came out and hit that kick, as soon as the match started, I was like, bro, if they end it like so, that, that'd be yeah. so fire. Oh, I, th- I was like, holy shit, this yeah. is – Yeah. Because we were thinking he was hurt, hurt yeah. the yeah. night before because his knee was so jacked. But we thought he's been hurt for a while. dancing all around. Though. Yeah, with well, yeah. that outfit. Yeah. That yeah. outfit didn't help He probably blew his knee out when he was dancing all around. I mean, it's been rumored that he's been hurt like – bad for a while like yeah. his back knee or whatever and then he took the little well, break well you could definitely tell after the main event that he was he was struggling yeah. like uh, even Kevin Owens was having to carry him yeah. out of the ring yeah. and mm-hmm. everything and another thing I'm excited about was the fact that I felt like the World Heavyweight Championship match kind of took a back seat to the tag match um, with Rock and Reigns and yeah. that whole feud I, I felt like Drew has carried that yeah. carried that match uh, with very little participation from the other side and for to have him win the belt and only hold it for five or six minutes, I thought was fantastic. Yeah, and yeah because that, that's that's the whole that's the whole motivation they're going to give to Drew McIntyre because he said it on Raw. Yeah, five minutes and such and such. The all that before my moment was taken from me. That's just it's just building his story, which, yeah. is, which is dope. But yeah. the match was dope. Oh yeah, that, it was great. The cash in was great. Yeah. The crowd loved it. It was a great I, way I love, to start off the, night yeah, two. I love the start of night two. Yeah. I yeah. think WWE missed the opportunity to create the biggest heel of all time by not letting Priest cash in on Cody right mm-hmm. after he got his moment. Oh, 
really? That would have been. Oh, I think that would have been against the green chance. Everybody better. against the green but, chance. Yeah, but I great. never. Yeah, yeah. Been, I didn't. It would have been a total shock. I didn't think it was gonna happen because I text like if if he don't cash in tonight, then yeah. that money in the bank means nothing. There's just so in, much so. history there with Drew in the Judgment Day. Also, um, what did in Chicago? What was it? Survivor Series was it Chicago? Uh, when Drew was on their team. I'm not sure. Yeah, Drew was on their team. Um, and was supposedly helping them, and then he ended up kind of turning his back on them a little bit. So it just made it made more sense having him get cashed in on, yeah. As opposed to and Seth. like we said, Damien uh, as Priest is a, he's a title holder. You you had a, before we started. He's Jinder with, Mahal. Yeah, he's a tight. He's a space holder. And right I now. guarantee you, if you look at the schedule, they've got somewhere coming up where he's from, and they probably want him to be champion. Yeah, going do, are there. they going back to Puerto Rico anytime? I'm soon? sure. If you look at the calendar, I'm sure yeah. there's in the next six or seven months. Uh, and they want him Until to be the punk gets healthy. Until punk gets healthy. Yeah. Yep. But you're gonna have this punk and Drew thing going for a while. We get a, a main event of Jay Jay Uso and Damian Priest coming up at the ne- at the next pay per view. So, you know, it's keeping Drew out of it. So, Hell yeah. we're back night two, WrestleMania. We just finished the first match. We got Brandon E here, and it was Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. And what do you think? Wow. Yeah, I mean that's what you call a wrestling match, right yeah, there. Yeah. That's the way you do it. Yeah, that one match right there was better than every single match last night combined. And we talked about it last night, like Seth being hurt, we were like, no, he's gonna get the hell bit out of him. He he fought really well though. Yeah, somebody who's really legit hurt yeah. on one bum leg wrestled last night. Seth Rollins on his worst day is still better than 95% of the wrestlers on their best day. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Seth Rollins. I'm a huge fan of Drew McIntyre. And usually when either one of them are wrestling, nothing bad is going to be said on my end. There's no yeah. ranting being done. Yeah. That was a freaking awesome match. I, yeah. I love Drew McIntyre. He deserves it. Should have had it years ago. Seth Rollins, you'll be back. You are a main eventer in my book. You are awesome. I can't say anything bad about that match. I just hope tonight continues to go that way. It probably won't. But I think <laughs> it'll be. Yeah. I mean, Virgil Virgil could put on a five-star match like that, but nobody else could. Dude, he's eating so, unlimited meat sauce in there. Dude, unlimited meat sauce. Dude, Virgil Honky Tone Man should be headlining tonight at WrestleMania. One thing I'll say about this match, it wasn't the match was awesome. Great. However, Uh-oh. the ring attire. <laughs> Seth Rollins' ring attire. I'll try to find a picture. Um, but I guess that's just how he's. It's, it's yeah, he's very unorthodox. He's yeah. gotten more and more outrageous. I mean, I think like last night, triumphed his outfit tonight. Yeah. But that guy, he's just he's he's goes to the beat of his own drum. I'm personally a fan of people who just do their own thing. No, like for that. sure, a, especially when they no, back man. it up with actually good wrestling. Yeah, which some people are incapable of doing. Yeah. But Seth Rollins gets it done. Drew McIntyre always gets it done for me. Like, so he's one of my favorite wrestlers. Like. So kudos um, to both. Bro, look, I, we're, we're doing these reactions live. But Punk is in the face of uh, Drew McIntyre, so this is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's set up a little something, something. We'll yeah. see what happens. Look at it. Look. Oh, I hate Dominic Mysterio. Tip of well, uh, this is five podcast. minutes after we just finished the first clip. Holy guacamole. <laughs> Holy rigatoni. Holy Velveeta shells and cheese. I was not expecting that. Yeah, that was fire, dude. Business is picking up. Damien Razor Ramon Priest. He acts just like Scott Hall yeah. when he was Razor Ramon. Oh my God, that was great. Just did not expect that. I hate I hate anything that's Dirty Dom, Mysterio affiliated, but I do like Damien Priest. Was not expecting that. I thought that was going to happen, honestly. I thought he would cash in like tomorrow night or something. I thought it would be on like Roman Reigns or Cody. I really did. I did not expect that because they're both heels. Um, I thought that was super cool. So, yeah. like, we just had to come back as a quick reaction because we didn't see that coming. Yeah, because Punk, punk uh, he kept taunting Punk after the match, and Punk hit him with the, took the brace off his arm, hit him with the brace. And, and then dude came da- Damien came down and cashed it in. I was like, holy shit. Yep. I hate Dominic Mysterio so bad, dude. I, I, I like all of them except him, for Dominic Mysterio. Every time I see him. Yeah, see, but like I said, somebody will get some chips. <laughs> somebody will get some, some tequila, some nachos, because holy guacamole, we need it. <laughs> 
And then, uh, it's the worst, it's, and then you this got is the another. Wor- this is the worst match. This is the worst match. You have what match. is it? The Philadelphia Street Fight with the New Testament <laughs> and Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits this and Bubba Ray Dudley race, as a guest race. referee. What was that about? When yeah. did that happen? Hey, what is up that with Bubba all. Ray Dudley's skinny jeans? That was first of all. First of all, y'all. I don't know what y'all y'all saw. That's motherfucking Alex Jones. <laughs> it's not Bubba. Dude, Ray he Dudley. come waddling down the fucking river. First of all, <laughs> WWE. Wearing his hookah shirt sheets. No, WWE <laughs> is – I don't care what anybody says. There's no way you can tell me WWE is not racist towards black wrestlers. Uh, Bro, yeah. every – they stereotype every yeah. every black wrestling team are street guys. Yep. Yeah. Crime yeah. time. Yeah. Street yeah. profits. Street pro- what, a, yeah. what, what, R-truth. what the yeah. fuck R- is yeah. a street profit? Our truth Yeah. What like, the why can't he be Ron profit? Killing? Yeah. Like yeah. – and then let's let's put them in basketball shorts and because they play basketball. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> WWE, y'all are horrible. Oh, that's man. terrible. That's yeah. That's very, they're such they're such talented dudes. Just yeah. and then Bobby Lashley looks the exact same way he looked since TNA 2007. Yeah. He has changed. not changed. Oh, at WWE all. 2004. When he's, he's got the same moveset champion. too. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's it's all the same. But that was and see, I'm a big Karen Karen Cross is another guy that is completely underutilized yeah, in the WWE. Because this motherfucker is a bad dude in real life. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I, do y'all follow his Instagram? Or dude mm-hmm. broke a fucking wooden bat in like a did some kind of MMA move and cracked like a wooden bat just like it was nothing. Yeah. And they throw him out. Throw him out here in this match with AOP, which both of these factions got potential, like a lot of upside to them if they're booked right. I mean. Yeah, I, was I wasn't terrible. happy. With, the yeah, gimmicks horrible. were terrible. Uh, they tried putting Karen Cross on a table, and the table collapses. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one bet, the best move of the night was Montez. Is it Montez? Montez Ford. Ford. Yeah. That move where he jumped over the turnbuckle and did the swanton yeah. over. Oh, uh, dude's insane. Yeah, yeah that's athletic. What I'm that's as what hell. I'm saying. Like, they're such talented dudes, and then they just put them in this stupid ass gimmick, bro. Yeah. And then like. <laughs> Another thing too. What the f- another, the referee? <laughs> <laughs> when it, it's like a chainsaw revving up, dude. The fucking referee of this match, Bubba, turns turn just he throws. just turns and he, again he turns and cheats for the good guys. Yeah, yeah. it makes no like, sense. Get the tables, guys. I'm like beat him. I'm like, <laughs> where, where has he been involved in? in no, it's just because it was in Philly. Yes, yes. and they want. ECW. The only thing, the only thing that would have made this match worse is they would have brought out a bunch of ECW it, originals and yeah, had them lumberjack this match. Dude. Even more, <laughs> f- he, further, those, he fumbled trying to put on the glasses. Uh, <laughs> further in my point about WWE towards African American wrestlers, yeah, I agree. Who sponsored that match? Gin and juice. Gin and juice, <laughs> Gin and juice sponsored that match. Oh man! Like, how much was on the announce? Who was on the Snoop Dogg? Snoop. <laughs> Wow, yep, I agree. Wow. Who did a good WWE, job on commentary? It's not, it's, yeah, I mean, y'all stupid. aren't even trying to hide. And, and these guys are, it's not like these guys are, are not talented wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. Montez Ford. Worst, is, outf- yeah, worst outfit ever, that one guy. Not Montez, <laughs> the other guy. Yeah, yeah. Dawkins. Dawkins. But, uh, dude, just, just terrible. Just terrible. It's a well, neg- Paul Ellering, negative three. Paul Ellering, Ellering is out there and just. And the, and the two biggest guys are the biggest guys in re- that, on them, either uh, card. Disappeared for the last. I think they're absolutely terrible. They're, they're an atrocious tag. Did y'all know yeah. that was Paul Ellering's first WrestleMania? Really? And you didn't even. They didn't even acknowledge him. His team didn't yeah. even participate. The last at the third. Really? Match. I, I, I could have swore somebody said that on the Wembley broadcast. was Summer. I, I think you're right. Wembley yeah. was SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. You're right. Wow, that's crazy. Think that's of, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like you said, it gets used like that. That's he had crazy. That, he had Paul that ventriloquist doll on the front of the. That was SummerSlam. That was SummerSlam. That's when they fought. Ted DiBiase and IRS. Yeah. Yep. Okay. His tag Damn team it. scouting skills have fell off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they fe- they must have fell in a in a hole and <laughs> disappeared. Just, just, yeah. yeah. It was it was bad. Well, bad, they, bad, this was I think I think AOP was a <laughs> yeah. I think AOP was one of like Triple H's first teams from yeah. NXT that he. I remember them up. when I, they they were around. They premiered when with I was the, they watching. Up, NXT. They came up yeah. with the um. Oh, what is that team that looked like the Road Warriors had the little half face paint on? Ascension. Ascension, Ascension, yeah. They came up with the Ascension, yep. 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 Definitely. But yeah, that match sucked Trash horribly. <laughs> okay. There's two things in this world you'll never hear. Number one is I'm looking forward to Flag Day. And two, that was a good match. There's are two things you'll never fucking hear. Because the match sucked and no one looks forward to Flag Day. That was the worst match I've ever seen in my entire life. What in Sam Hill's name just happened there? 
You have this motherfucker wearing NBA Jam Tournament Edition shorts. I can't believe it's on fire! Larry Johnson shorts. Walking around, looking like he just shit his pants. Walk, I... Work. What, what, what was the match? What the was match it? was a, I don't know what the fuck, Falls County Anywhere match. And the little Ray Dudley is the ref. It, what? And who was it? The Street Profits, which is... The, yeah, racist name, Street Profits. Oh, they're so profits of the streets. What does that even mean? What does that mean? What did any of that match mean? Snoop Dogg was high as, high as a kite. And, and you know what? Good for him. Because if you were straight and you watch that match, you're going to fucking lose brain cells. Snoop Dogg's in the ring holding up a belt, dude. Of course. Another belt, y'all. Another belt that just popped up out of nowhere like the Rocks last night. Just everybody, it's participation trophies everywhere now. I want to show up on wrestling. I deserve a belt. I deserve a title. I deserve some leftover pizza rolls. <laughs> Worst matchup. Who did they beat? Remember those I don't even know who they beat. They just disappeared. They just bro. disappeared. They just dis. They they just disappeared into the land of secure of whatever you want to call it. Dude, I can't get over this dude's outfit. This worst, is, that's the worst. Outfit. Worst outfit. Worst match. That I, I tell you, I'm having nightmares for for weeks about that match. Yeah, dude, that was bad. We're fixing to get. To, I think Ugh. we're fixing to get to the Logan Paul match. Hopefully, but the rest of the card was the rest of the, the rest of the night was strong all the way through. Oh yeah, that's the only weak spot of the whole night was yeah. that match. It yeah. was a very very weak spot. But. Yeah, but then you have L.A. Night, which is over like a month oh, yeah. after right now. I mean, yeah, <laughs> and AJ and AJ and AJ's just AJ. I mean, AJ's going to put on a, a a stud of a match every time he gets. Into I think the ring. we all agree. I think it's time to start mentioning AJ and the goat conversation. Of He's course, yes, unbelievable man. And AJ did come out and say there's he there's not many matches left with him. Yeah, I think probably mania maybe maybe mania next year he gets. He, he has done it all. If you look down his list of he has wrestled everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who's who of any? The only place he's he hasn't been to win a title is AEW, and I mean, what's the point yeah. at this point? You know what and I mean? He's beat everybody over there. He's won every yeah. He's won everywhere he's ever been, and yeah. Uh, yeah. But it, and he, great he, match. He clearly it was an outstanding match, and he clearly is still rocking that bedal San Antonio. No, oh, his hair is <laughs> his hair is <laughs> or that Pantene Pro V, dude. He's phenomenal hair. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, he made L.A. Knight look great. Uh, yeah, and that but he needs the help. I mean, L.A. Knight's just. He's only Knight can go, bro. I've only watched dude's promos, and dude's promos are outstanding. He's solid in the ring. But I haven't ever watched him wrestle. He wears the construction Tims with (laughs) the pants. Dude, what about his twelve? His twelve boots, though. Yeah, the twelve. Usually he rocks like eleven looking boots. Yeah, but he went with the twelves for WrestleMania. (laughs) And he he gave away a Slim Jim card. Yeah, Yeah. that match was sponsored by Slim Jim. I liked how they threw the Macho Man ad lib in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the difference. Slim Jim sponsored the next one. <laughs> the match yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. WWE is not – y'all need to do better, man. But That's, even for – like, even this this match the, with no title, every, the buildup was, oh, it was great to this match. Yeah, yeah. it was a great uh, match. The crowd just, was super involved. They yeah. were sent, chanting, this is awesome. Like, it, yeah. It's solid all around. I'm looking uh, – does L- L.A. Knight has to move into that intercontinental Oh, he definitely. I picture. think it's time for him to hold a strap. And How is he not further up than that? Well, they he, there's just so been much play, up there. You've had Roman in that spot for thirteen hundred days. But who yeah. else is it contending for that spot on SmackDown? Yeah, I you mean, had you had Logan Paul as United States champion, not there every week. You had Gunther as you know. Yeah, Intercontinental but Drew McIntyre's the only the only, or he's Raw. Never mind. Yeah, yeah so I mean, he's so just, it, it should be interesting with the draft coming up, how everything gets played out. And, I think he's definitely in line for something. Yeah, um, great yeah. match though. No, it great was just, match for sure. We back, man. Was that the third match? Fourth? I can't remember. Third match? Or... I think so. Third match. AJ versus LA. You know, spelling the LMNOP match. That was pretty good, actually. Uh, yeah. You know, that's kind of what I honestly expected. Um, LA Knight is a rising star. Yeah. I think he's going to continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Heaven forbid his injury or anything like that. Um, what a better person to help sell and get him over because AJ Styles is one of the absolute best that ever placed a pair of boots. I'm a huge fan of his. Always has oh, been. Dude. I don't think he's capable of putting on a bad match either. I've never seen him in a bad match. Never. Not never. one time. He he is so good. LA Knight is good. Great match. No rant here. I can't make fun of any of it. That was just a fantastic match. Yeah. Um, right in the middle like kind of it needs to be. We'll see where LA goes from here. Mm-hmm. Um, he started, he had a huge year. Last year started cooling off a little bit at the end. 
Yeah. Um, but he's still like he's right there. Good to see AJ Styles after all of these years still like just competing at such a high level. That he's just got it, man. I love seeing unlike that last match, a yeah. good match. And then we was looking it up, dude. AJ Styles forty six years, years, years old, bro, and he was gone. They were not holding back. No. That's my first time seeing LA Knight. I've seen his promos and stuff um, over the last year yeah. or so. A great promo, yeah, 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 great promo. But, but he has he can wrestle to actually back it up. So that's that's a promising thing. I think he'll keep getting bigger. Well, I'm just curious where they're going. I, I, you know, there's a couple of stars that are right there on that verge, and LA Knight's right there. Mm-hmm. I don't want I don't want AJ Styles to still be just a great wrestler getting newer stars over a wrestler yet. I still think he deserves to be yeah. right up there too. Take advantage of him while he while we still can. Yeah. Um, but great match. Nothing yeah, bad on that one. Then uh, you move right into the triple th- threat match for the U.S. title, which, uh, I mean, with Randy Orton, Logan Paul, and KO, I mean, you're, get, you're going to get a barn burner right from just – This, from this match was – Shockingly impressive. Like it's fun. The the timing of all three guys and how you know the move set. The the coolest spot I saw on this was when he went from the uh, Logan Paul jumped off the top rope, hit the um, Swanton into the frog splash. Bro, yeah. that's what I was telling Brandon. Fire, dude. Athletic, I'll, dude. I'll say this, bro. Yep. <laughs> People can say whatever they want to me about it or whatever. Logan Paul is probably the one of the most probably. My favorite one to watch out of all of them. Oh, yeah. he's, he's he's fun. Yeah, and I yeah. never thought I would say that about Logan Paul. Yeah, I thought that he'd dude, be a part of serious. That dude is that dude is worth more than the guy that owns the company that's yeah. yeah. running the company. Right? Yeah, and he's out there fighting like he don't have a dollar, bro. Like, yeah. he, and, like and he just it he's ain't like selling. He's, he's, yeah, bro. He's, he's selling. Not, he's doing everything right. He's taking he it serious. He ain't, he ain't playing it safe. Yeah. Not, I'm not going to take no bump. I'm worth, he don't give a shit that he's worth all no. this money. He's going to go out there and take a bump. Yep. I, uh, I love the whole KO and Randy Orton beating the hell out of him at the beginning of the match. Yeah. And then they both go to pin him. And yeah. it's like, okay, now it's it's going to be a triple threat match. Yeah. Bro, uh, and the older Randy Orton gets, bro, he looks exactly like Bob Orton. <laughs> he I'm looks just, exactly like Cowboy I'm the Bob. biggest I, – I like this Randy Orton so fucking much. This is the most – I think this is the most fun Randy Orton is having wrestling. Yeah, what about the – He says prime, in that documentary, the, yeah. bi- the biography, yeah. The prime bottle guy. Yeah, he yeah. Got destroyed. Yeah, I no think speed. Randy he got – He kicked him. the fire out of yeah, him. Dude, I think when, when he, when he, he RKO'd him, he, he was dropping <laughs> F-bombs too. When he RKO'd him, and the, the table didn't break. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a guy didn't weigh but 120 pounds. I, mean, I know, but <laughs> Orton's not small. Yeah. No, they both came Dude, out. I think when, when the dude in the prime bottle started cussing Randy, yeah. that's when Randy he said. Mad. And he's, he's like, hang on a second. He fucking. <laughs> yeah. dude, he kicked him and the bottle top went flying. <laughs> <laughs> that's so great. Yeah. I was, say, I was kind of hoping it was going to be Jake in the bottle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, but he great. was at, as soon as I – he was like three rows back during the match. Yeah. And I saw him in the crowd. I was like, well, it's not Jake. Yeah, no. Yeah. By the way, flashing back to night one, shout out to Lil Wayne's bald spot. Yeah. 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 Bruh. Time to let them go, dog. A lot of bald oh. spots happening in WrestleMania <laughs> this weekend. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it just – dude, that frog splash that he ended the match with, yeah. dude, it's – that's – more height than Eddie Guerrero ever got on the frogs. That was, that was the goat splash. Paul, bro. That's yeah, what I I said he had, he's held the title for 100 – how many days was it? Like almost 200 days? Yeah. yeah he's going to have to move up into – I mean, you can't – I mean, he's already wrestled Roman. Yeah. He already I mean, had a, a great match with Roman. The so. dude is insane. Is he on Smack, see, I don't know who – The uh, U.S. On title's on SmackDown. But that yeah. may change. I mean, that may I, change. I see them keeping the Intercontinental title and the WWE title on Raw, and then it'll be, w, it'll be the World Heavyweight mm-hmm. Championship and the U.S. title on SmackDown. But you're, he, you're a huge Logan Paul fan, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. You I, think, I thought you were being sarcastic, but you really are a big fan. Mm-hmm. Of, okay. Nope. I think he's – Social media guy. Like, yeah. You know. I, I, I think he'll be holding the – Universal Championship or Undisputed Championship or oh. whatever they're calling it. Oh yeah, he'll, sure, yeah. I, I mean, mean it'll I mean, be it'll be big he'll for have to WWE. Pay, he'll pay his dues and everything, mm-hmm. but he'll yeah, he'll definitely. Yeah. I mean, and I and I don't think he has a problem with that. That's why I like about it that he's humble and he yeah. doesn't yeah. think yeah, that bro, he should. Never, he doesn't feel like he's owed anything. And especially and, and like I said, all that money, bro. He could easily be coming in there mm-hmm. acting like the Rocks. I mean, I know the Rocks a character. The he'll, he'll rock. Did y'all see but, his reaction to Cody winning the belt? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that says it all right there. Yeah. How serious he takes this. Yeah, yeah. In his free, he must have not known that the once we get to the the Undertaker was going to pop up. Yeah, because he his reaction to it was 
as good as ours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. he's a fan. You can definitely tell he's a fan. And I'm I'm completely sold on. I mean, he's caught crap since he got there about being one of those guys that didn't take it serious. But he's proved time and time again every match he does that he's yeah. he's he's there for Solid. a reason. So, I, I, okay, I think we said this last night. Um, I can't get blue in the face due to my skin complexion, but um, this is so much better than last night. Dude, it's so much better, bro. <laughs> it is so much better than last night. That was a. Freaking awesome match right yeah, there. Yeah, triple threat match. Logan Paul, it's, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton for the U.S. Uh, US Championship. It's one of those things that we love Kevin Owens and we love Randy Orton. And I would love to see Randy Orton get another title. And would be completely happy with Kevin Owens getting another title. But that damn Logan Paul's good. <laughs> yeah. He's really, really good. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's really dope, bro. I just like seeing celebrities come on and take this actual serious um he delivers every single time he gets in the ring he's so unlikable but he's yeah. so good and um all three of them put on a clinic and whoever that dumb son of a bitch was in that damn prime bottle i'm looking like tracy chapman's foster son i'm really really glad he got his ass kicked yeah. to the other side of philadelphia and i hope i never see him again unless he's <laughs> in a crystal clear pepsi bottle after that Dumb son of a bitch. You got your ass kicked. I hate you. I don't know who you are, but I hate you. Heck but yeah, that was man. a really, 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 really good match. No, it was dope, bro. There hadn't been a bad one yet except for the six-man tag. That was tra- it was the worst match of, the, yeah, of that, all of my that, that match right there, I don't even want to go back and ever relive that <laughs> again. I, you have to pay me large sums of money to ever even watch that again. But that was a great match right there. No, for sure. All right. So, we're uh, second to last match, we'll get through this. We're over yeah. an hour, I think. Um, got Bailey and – was it Eo, Eo, Eo Sky? Yeah. Eo Sky. Great match. That girl is the size of these little figures. <laughs> yeah. Hey, great build-up. A little, yeah. little. Great build-up for this match. fucking go. Yeah. No, she could, yeah. bro. And, and Bailey is – She's Bailey's completely so different old. looking than she was four years ago when I watched. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But – and. But Brandon was saying she's been hurt, and yeah. she's, she's he said she's been walking with that limp for like three years. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, she but got that thick old booty though, poke it out, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> her, I'll say it. her booty was as big as the girl she was fighting. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that was a great match too, man. Bailey's over, they, over, so over. I love the build up to this with you know the whole damage control faction and everything. Eventually, you know you knew you were getting the betrayal. Yeah, uh, and, but the build up was great, and yet another title change. Yep, yep. it was you great. Know that, you know, big they, pop for. Too huge yeah, yeah. pop for. Yeah. I mean, the crowd is. Uh, you can definitely tell when Bailey's in a match because the crowd is just. It, it. They have those chants that's going uh, in the background with her name and everything. It's yeah. just I, she's I w- so over. I will say though, what the entire fuck was that goddamn entrance? Yeah, that was, that was the was most bad. awkward, yeah. weird entrance ever. It's like why not have a cart? Why just get a cart? You had like all these dudes. Like and these dudes were like her servants. And like, her is this her character now? And he was like, No, dude. I don't know. What I was the thinking the feathers were they crooked. walked three. They walked from here to the camera and they just put her. Down. I was I was thinking. I wonder how those guys that carried Mo to the ring felt. Yeah. <laughs> he was party, didn't he? Didn't he want to carry? Him yeah, he was. And her, right. her little wings were crooked. Yeah. They were crooked as, as crooked as my eyes. There, they didn't make no sense. <laughs> We, I didn't understand that no, entrance, and I haven't been watching. But it, it didn't make no sense. He didn't either, and he was. I was like, "What is going on?" I think that's on? a long way to carry her down the ring if they're going to carry yeah, her all. Just, they looked at that, and they were like, "Oh, whoa! Well, I didn't sign up for this. I thought, was, I thought we was at Madison Square Garden. Where's, where's the damn card at? <laughs> that's all you had to do. Uh, but oh, that's another. Going back to the logo, his entrance was freaking awesome yeah. with the prime bottle truck yeah. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. The entrances on night two were stepped up a notch. I think mm-hmm. from night one as well. Yeah. Everybody's were a little bit more elaborate. Yeah. You know? I loved oh, sure. I loved Rain's uh, Roman's in- intro with the choir singing yeah. and the violins. I loved all that. All right, man, we're we're coming towards the, we're rounding third here on WrestleMania 40. We're getting down to the end of it all. Yeah, man, it was a really good women's match. Man. I, I'm really glad because like I know you kind of been out of the loop a little bit, but Bailey's yeah. been a heel. And I never, oh really? Yeah, and I never. That's why the crowd's into it. I never thought uh, she fit being a heel. She should be a, a baby face all the time. It's, the crowd was behind her. There's a couple little spots I wasn't crazy about in that match, but the match was good. I thought, I think Bailey's great. Still to this day, the best female match I've ever seen in my life was Bailey versus Sasha Banks like several years ago. It's one of the, actually, let me, let me, don't even disrespect that. That's one of the best wrestling matches I've seen, period. You yeah. just go back and watch like NXT. One yeah. of the best matches I've ever seen. Bailey can go, man. I'm glad that she got some, um, some spotlight tonight. 
Yo, Sky, she did her thing too. Oh man, she's dope too. She's a little bitty yeah, girl. Yeah, she is. Man. She's feisty, man. That was a that was a really really good match right there. It I, was, I dude. had no problems with that at all. I had a feeling it was going to be good. Bailey, I'm I'm glad to see her be a champion again. I still think there's too many titles. I think everything's to be unification to one title. I get lost on who's on what. But yeah. I'm still glad to see her get some shine. She deserves. Well, just get into the yep. main event yeah. here because I mean, Cody's it. entrance was phenomenal, freaking phenomenal. Him coming up through the the floor. I love that. He, do you think he has the most over entrance with crowd participation? Oh, Seth's yeah. is cl- Seth yeah, is close. Seth, right. Yeah, uh, Seth is right. Up, as crazy as Seth is. Well, Seth kind of breaks just from out. The song, so yeah. He just kind of breaks out in, in the middle of a match. Like, mm. yeah. that's Whoa. the difference between the two. Yeah. Uh, but that whole when Cody gets down and does the. Well, part of the yeah. time, dude, the whole crowd. And the is crazy doing thing is, him. like Jericho is the one I feel like started that whole that whole thing at AEW. Like the crowd chanting his music or singing his music, yeah. and, and then they keep singing afterwards. That's the first time I ever remember seeing that, and now it seems to be a common thing. They're doing it with Edge now in AEW. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I, both entrances were fire. The match was fire. I mean, yeah, I was, the ma- it was it was an old school storytelling match. Yeah. That's what it was. I do have an issue with uh, the beginning of the match. What was it? Why? It's bloodline rules. Why was the bloodline not out there? Or have Roman Reigns do something, which Vince Russo talked about this too. Like, why would you not have him do an interview and say, you know what? I've already beat you, Cody. I don't need the bloodline. Right. I'll go out there and I'll beat you like The Rock beat you last night. Yeah, there was no explanation. Yeah. That's what yeah. I didn't like, like either. Yeah. Well, like you said, too, it, it would have made a lot of sense to have the bloodline out there with Cody with his head on a swivel just yeah. Yeah. constantly yeah. Don't, looking, doesn't around. Know, looking around. But it would have been a totally different match if they'd done right. I, I like I liked how they done the yeah, match. I just out. wish they would have. Gave Emphasize some kind the of ex- bloodline yeah, sort right. kind of, of it. explanation. Am I the only one that didn't even see Seth jump in the ring at the end? <laughs> that I didn't was, even that was, see that. It was so, so we, quick. We were talking about that. There, there had to have been a botch with that because yep. they. I think he. We ate. were looking for Ambrose. I was looking at Brandon. I was like, right. bro, is, is yeah. it going to be? Because like, why would too. Seth dress up as the Shield? Right. Well, there's a whole meaning behind. Uh, Seth did a promo, uh, probably over a month ago, and said, "I'll be your Shield." Yeah. To protect you, to right. make sure you win this title and right. everything. And uh, I sent, like, a little thing in the group text, too. That it, 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 The whole Shield thing was an explanation with him pre- trying to do what he protect can to Cody. help protect Cody. Right. To, and he it was a he distraction. he didn't do nothing. He but it was a, and it was a distraction. <laughs> it was a distraction. From, so what the, was sto- sh- the story between the mean, Shield is that Seth Rollins turned on Roman Reigns in the Shield the same way that – so the chair shot to the yeah, back, that's that, what yeah. he was recreating yeah. in that moment with Seth. He, he was, knew that it would cause Roman a slight distraction enough. And to, he took the chair shot that would have went to, to Cody, Cody yeah. and everything in that moment and right. everything. So that well, it, he, de- he maybe his knee was causing him to not. I think I think he right maybe spot. slipped up getting into the ring with the knee yeah. and everything because you never saw him come through the crowd. No, you, you just saw nothing. him come through the bottom right. of the ropes and then, and then he just and was he he fell down. I was yeah, like, yeah, what? I was like shots. you. I was sitting there waiting on like, Moxley. Where's Moxley? At? Yeah, Ambrose. Like, yeah, that'd have been great. Yeah, but, yeah, but, then, but I mean the the whole beginning of the match is just just storytelling classic. Yeah. Wrestling. Dean Ambrose would have busted his head wide open just getting to the ring. He would have <laughs> yeah. bled all over the place. Dude, and then one of the funniest spots of the whole main event is when Roman Reigns used Cody's move and he <laughs> yeah. kicked out. He goes, that yeah. move sucks. Yeah. 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 No, that wasn't going to work. That move sucks. <laughs> I see, that's another little thing about Roman where, where this heel thing with Roman, yeah. he's so fucking good yeah, at he it. Ju- now that he's, since he's got those new teeth, he looks just like Edge. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He looks like he looks just like Edge with black hair. Today. Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't been watching it, so I, yeah. I started seeing it. Him, the Usos, all of them got new teeth. Oh, so yeah. They all just... They got the veneers. Yeah, they got mm-hmm. the new veneers. They go to the same... I guess dentist, but no. <laughs> yeah, but dude, that part was crazy. And of course, the Rock, the Rock coming yeah. in. You had you had the Usos that literally kill each other going off the yeah. the entrance ramp. Yeah, yeah that was... <laughs> dude, that spear. It, it, I guess that's why they half-assed their match the night or the night before because they're like, we got to do that spot that tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. We got we, we're going out with we it. We got to show out tomorrow night. And then, we'll just phone this in. And then of course, then the Rock comes in yeah. uh, with his whole final. And then, uh, well, no, Cena came in before him though, right? Cena mm-hmm. came in. Yeah, a huge and, pop for Cena. Yeah, and another thing about Cena, Cena's run to the ring is not what nope. it used to no, be. No, it is not. They did he? Did, it looked like Ernest. He wore <laughs> He's so <laughs> camp. He was going to camp Kikiki. That's where he's going. So it all made sense though, because you had Solo jump in, and then Cena comes to the ring. Yeah. Uh, 
and they had a match last year. So mm-hmm. it just all made sense how they tied it together. And the only thing I was disappointed in was it wasn't Stone Cold at the yeah, end. It was, yeah. But, so, I mean, always a fan to see The Undertaker. Yeah. Always great to see The Undertaker. But do you think there was an audible call there? It I had think to so. Yeah. I think so. With the whole truck thing a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw showing Cena and Stone Cold. Yeah. Um, I think the, I think the Undertaker little was nuggets there, man. Like, yeah, I think the, so. Why so why wouldn't under, uh, Stone Cold be able to do it if he's just gonna hit a stunner? I you think know what I'm I think uh, scheduling something maybe come up with schedule. I don't, who knows? Yep, yeah. he's real protective of his character. Absolutely. Too. Like yeah. he, uh, I think at that uh, that mania where they were all out, like a bunch of people came out. Like he likes coming out last. Yeah, yeah. He don't he don't want to be. I think there's too many people involved for him That's good. for it to mean anything. Yeah. To him. Yeah. But what well, man, that Vince stunner that was the yeah. worst stunner and of all he time. Ca- yeah. And he came <laughs> uh he was just there not too long ago too. But yeah. I mean WrestleMania forty, you would think Stone Cold yeah. pulling out I all mean, the But sides. when that gong hit, I mean when that, that dong hit and the lights go out, it's like, What the fuck? Yeah. How long has it been since Taker's been in the ring like at all at all? Probably three or four years. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. But he has a lot of history with that family. Yokozuna, Rikishi. Yeah. Yep. He wrestled the and, rock. And the rock set like when the rock turns around and notices it's under just he got the facial expression yep. just like the night before when he took the spear from Roman. Yeah, I'm glad that he choke slammed him and didn't tombstone because he yeah. choke slammed the fuck out of him. Yeah, yeah. I'm and glad that he didn't do, he didn't do the tombstone. Yeah, and the rock's 280 plus pounds too. Yeah. <laughs> that's a My lot. My brother to was like, "Oh, that's the weakest tomb, uh, choke slam ever." I was like, "Dude, you got to think, Undertaker's pushing over 60 years yeah. old." And he trying to pick up a 280-pound guy. I thought it was a good choke slam. I did, too. Yeah. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. Yeah. I was afraid when I he saw it. He was just like, so oh, mad because it was a stone cold. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Naturally. That would have made sense. But, I mean, they Dude, didn't go wrong with no. Taker. Him getting stone cold to stone the rock and rock doing that WrestleMania 15 selling job. Oh, it yeah. would have been, been perfect. Where yeah. he flips all over. Across. There's too many people to flip in. He's flipped in all the people in the yeah. ring. <laughs> that happened. That was a holy shit, what the fuck moment. And then, of course... Cody finally gets the win after yeah. he does his clean, clean, right yeah. call, oh, man, right yeah. call, clean, uh, the only, the, cleanish. The, yeah, I mean, the only thing I didn't like so much about it is just the emphasis on there's so many finishers used in that match. Yeah. In, in that match, that's just what that's the one thing. That's the downside of watching it now, man. Finishers don't mean anything. Yeah, because he's got two. He's got the Cody cutter and he's got Crossroads. So like mm-hmm. those two, two finishers. Well, even Roman hit spears and Superman punches and a perfect. That's example. the worst. Finish Shawn ever, Michaels though. super kicks Diesel one time. Gone. Yeah. So one, two, three. Well, he super kicked a sixty-four-year-old Ric Flair four times before he finally. That's when. It, that's but that's, but that was Ric Flair's last match until his other seventeen. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but now it's like, what was Shawn Michaels' finisher is now used seven to ten times per card. Yeah. Just as a regular, it's just like a throwing a punch. Well, if you're the mm-hmm. Usos, you use it fifty times in one Dude, match. I, yeah, <laughs> man, them super kicks sound they sound bad. But it was a, it was an awesome moment. Cody yeah. winning the belt. I mean, everybody in the ring after him getting Bruce Pritchard down right. to the ring. That, that was awesome. I that was Bruce my Pritchard favorite there. wrestling moment yeah. ever. I mean, uh, getting Triple H down there. You know, him and uh, whatever was said between him and Triple H right there yeah. was all. And what gets what got me is watching all throughout that Cody. Going up to every single cameraman yeah. and telling yeah, them thank you, Michael Cole. He's even, the complete opposite of Roman Reigns, dude. Yeah, yeah. which and is, he's been carrying the company for two years now. Yeah, like, he's yeah. Uh, from shout a face standpoint, to, shout out to Roman Reigns though. Yeah, for, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. You got to give Roman his respect. He, he yeah. did a whole. I mean, he carried the company around. through yep. the COVID time, COVID oh, yeah. period, and. There, and through the Thunderdome era. I mean, the and they threw those titles on people like Jinder Mahal, Braun Strowman. Okay. They threw the title on those guys when clearly Reigns could have had way more Reigns than what, no yeah. pun intended, than what he actually did. You know what I mean? It takes me back to the time when like guys like Shelton Benjamin never got a shot. Guys like Mark no. Henry never got a shot. And it could be the – like you said, how they treat African American wrestlers, but yeah. they gave them a secondary type title, like the ECW title mm-hmm. or the World Heavyweight title, yeah. but didn't give them a run with the WWE title. But you know, Cody's the right call right now, man. Oh I yeah, think. yeah. It's, it, he's going to hold it for a while too. I think. Yeah, I think he'll have a nice little run with it uh, at least. Dude, a year. wow. We just finished the main event. Wow. Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns for the undisputed title. Uh, I, bloodline rules. I, he. I was predicting a lot of the match <laughs> because Roman Roman's match has been very repetitive. It's always same spot, same spot. Solo's going to come out, pretend like he's mad, interfere in the match. Uso's going to yee, 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 his way out there and yee, and just get beat up and mm-hmm. then runs away. 
That was a really good match, though. No, it was really good, bro. I mean, I knew there would be interferences and stuff like that. It was set up for that, but, like, I didn't expect the Undertaker. What, what about Cena coming out? I did not expect Cena. And, and what about Seth Rollins coming out as the sh in the Shield gear? What was we that? Never see, did anybody watching this, did y'all see, like, the entrance of the Shield? Because we didn't. And we, I thought Dean Ambrose was going to come out. And next thing I know, Seth Rollins just laying on the ground. Yeah, we didn't even see what happened. Seth either. Rollins got his ass whooped for the last three months on all the stories. He's took one for the team, y'all. Yeah. I'm a little confused. But that was really like so much stuff that just happened. I'm trying to figure out where it's, where it's going, where it's going next. Because, I mean, everybody got involved in it. The only one I, I thought was going to get involved that didn't get involved was um, Stone Cold. I thought Stone Cold was going to mm -hmm. come out. I think Cena and Taker kind of offset that for me. But I was really wanting Austin. Um, damn, that was a good match. <laughs> yeah, man. Overall, I think uh, Mania was really dope. Yeah, because of this day, for sure. Like the main, the, the women's match yesterday, and then the, the the main event last night. The rest of Mania yesterday, you could have taken it or leaving it. And if anybody who's watching this, if y'all want to respond in the comments, if you agree with me that like since they've been doing the two nights last year, the year before, night one was a lot better than night two. But this year, it was the complete opposite. Night one was, like I told y'all, it was a glorified episode of Sunday Night Heat. Mm -hmm. Tonight was WrestleMania. No, for sure. That was incredible. There's only one real bad match, and that was it. That was yeah. really, really good. Yeah, man. Absolutely. I'm excited about what's to come. I'm, I'm going to be back watching it, man. I'm going to start. I'm going to stay in tune. Um, I'm going to watch Monday Night Raw. Tuesday night. Um, we are this Thursday. We're going to be doing a full over the top episode recapping WrestleMania 40, both nights and Monday Night Raw. This is just live reaction. Me and Brandon's live reaction. Um, but Thursday's episode of Over the Top will be us recapping yeah. all of this in detail. But everybody, if y'all watch this tonight like we did, I mean, I'm sure. You, I mean, I like to hear what y'all have to say about it. But it was really, it was really great. I thought it was good. I'm just like, I'm curious where this is going and. It opens up a lot of optimism and excitement for this new era that they're ushering in, and we'll shall see what goes. But um, hopefully, they bring the Skinner back. I hope the Skinner comes back. I hope Crush comes back. <laughs> I hope you know uh, Mr. Hughes comes back. I hope Bob Holly doesn't come back. Mr. Hughes. I hope Bob Holly is at, working at a Dairy Queen right now, preparing my chocolate milkshake and my Oreo Blizzard. Make that a medium, please. Helping, I'm excited. Like, and I think that's what Monday night was about. It wasn't yeah. about it was who's a celebration. Coming back. Yeah, and then you know you had some key things there that happened. One thing I hate that they didn't do on Monday, they didn't give us an opportunity to see a John Cena, Damian Priest stare down with that belt because Cena hasn't held that belt. Cena Ooh. came in at the end of that match. If they would have announced Cena as their partner and Cena comes to the ring mm -hmm. and he's looking at Priest and he's looking at that belt and it's making us think that there's an opportunity for Cena to come back and win 17. This The little things that WWE fumbles quite often. Yeah. That's what I wish we would have seen. Something along those lines. So. Shout out another bald spot. John Cena's on the back of his head. <laughs> Poor Cena. Good God. Yeah. He's constantly he's, trying to brush that hair back. He's got my way. haircut, and we both got the same bald spot. It's just bad, man. No, it's it bad. sucks just, getting old. Just, just, just and he's in far go. better shape than I am. Yeah, he's great, great shape. Super pale, <laughs> He's though. got a whole lot of money, too. He, he's super pale. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Yeah, Monday night, Monday night, that whole 40 – the only thing I didn't – that whole rock thing with the promo with Cody was super awkward Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, on Monday night. Yeah. Um, I, it didn't need 45 minutes either. It didn't need 45, and then it just – Well, I think the rock was struggling. Yeah, the yeah. crowd threw him off. Rock I was think, struggling. I think they got they got him. It, I think that – yeah, you could definitely tell that rock's been away, and he doesn't have that – Promo yeah. prowess, promo prowess. Being there every have. week, I think, is a that struggle is for him. <laughs> Popping up and doing his one one nighters, easy, right? Light work. But being there every week and having to entertain people and come up with creative things, like the trailer park trash thing, is old. Yeah, yeah. Just come up with new insults, dog. Uh, well, and, no, now he just tells the crowd to shut the fuck up. Right. I right. mean, he did that on live TV. Right. Yeah. So I mean, just find <laughs> Dwayne. Yeah. If you want to know how to cut a promo, just rewind to the beginning of this. Yeah, rewind it to the beginning and rewind. and you just just see see how yeah, a see real how professional real, does it. Be kind, rewind, dude. But yeah, overall, 
It was Raw, a great weekend. Yeah, right. And Raw, yeah. of course, the only thing, one thing I will say notable now, we got a new number one contender. Right. Yep. Um, you know, with uh, and you get this, you get to further along the punk and. Yep. yep. Yeah, I'm excited for what's to come Three out of this time. in the new Triple Eight or the Paul Levesque era. Yeah. Yeah, that's what me and Brandon was talking about. Like, he don't know what's going to happen, but he said this is going to be. A, he thinks it's going to be a big turning point. I think we're going to see he said it. something. He said it, it just feels way different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and I don't know if, who all watched the Hall of Fame, but shout out. You know, Paul Heyman. Dude, the what about him? The only one across, worth watching. I, I get why he went speeches, first. Yeah. Like one of the best speeches ever. Like that man, he's got to be the best talker. Oh, ever. Do you think yeah. we, uh, we're we – I think we're out of the PG era now. Oh, I think no, – I mean, yeah. yeah. With going to Netflix, I feel like it's going to be going to Netflix, lot, yeah. I think we're going to get a little bit more risky. I think we may see blood more now in mm. matches. I think we're going to see – I think we're going to – I think Netflix and Endeavor and all them are going to try to push. It's like, hey – Let's try to edge back towards that attitude era. I think it's going to be more cinematic. Could I, you I, imagine like Martin Scorsese? Yeah. <laughs> Scorsese? Scorsese? Scorsese. <laughs> Martin Scorsese. 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 Sci- right. Could you Side imagine note. him directing a WrestleMania? <laughs> Ooh. Side that note. Happen. We were talking about, when you before you guys got here, we were talking about Dustin Rhodes has now uh, called out Samoa Joe. He wants to finish his story. Uh, he's challenging for the AEW title. I told him, I said, a better option would be go challenge for the NWA title. Yeah. Or, yeah. I love you, Dustin. We'll just go ahead and retire. And I wish up. there was a way he could have played a factor in the whole He was game. in the stadium. There was pictures of yeah. him in the suite and everything. I wish there was but a way he could have I'm sure AEW said, no, we're not letting you If they would have just TV. hit the gold dust music, that would have been great. Mm-hmm. Just it's, o- it, it's okay for for uh, WWE to show the Young Bucks on their TV. When that little promo clip, the Young Bucks were yeah. shown on WWE TV and Kenny Omega and Kenny, Kenny Omega, Omega on WWE TV, but I'm sure AEW's like, no, we're gonna not because it's yeah. CM Punk. Yeah. We're not gonna let you be on TV. Yeah, they yeah. hate him that bad. Well, they're evidently. Wh- is it tonight or tomorrow? Uh, night? Tomorrow Wednesday. night. Tomorrow well, night. They're releasing last night. It, whenever you're, you're watching this, yeah, you know, last, last night, night they yeah. released <laughs> the the video of the incident in London where he oh, choked out Jack Perry. Yeah. Yeah. They're releasing the video of it. I don't know so why he did Dylan's son cash. like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> why you do Dylan's son like yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> don't do him like that. Get that old two one oh his ass. Oh yeah. man. Hell yeah, no. I'll yeah. 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 be sure to call when you got something. Before we go, what would y'all rank night two of right? B plus. B plus. Oh yeah, B plus. Yeah. Yeah. A, I won't B+. give it an A because that, that that three on three match yeah. was an F and better, a half. Better plus. Uh, so, uh, and it was better or worse than seventeen and nineteen. Who better? Huh? Better than seventeen? Bet. Oh no! They're, they're, it's not. Let's not. Let's not lose our marbles here. <laughs> <laughs> WrestleMania seventeen and nineteen are the two best WrestleManias of all time. And yeah. except, except, but I did like WrestleMania forty a lot. Bro. Yeah, I yeah, uh, yeah. That last match was my favorite. Match, match of all WrestleMania. It Wrestle- took the place of Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. In oh my wow! Wrestle- really? WrestleMania thirty was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you had the the whole Daniel Bryan thing, the Yes Movement thing, but like WrestleMania forty was awesome. Man. Yeah, overall, yeah. if you got a B plus and a C, you'd sit there. I'd give it like a B minus overall. Well, yeah. What WrestleMania was it where Daniel Bryan lost the belt in five seconds to Sheamus? Oh. Uh, that was in that Miami. Two thousand twelve. That was WrestleMania twenty eight. Yeah. He beat, he kicked him right square and won the world. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. WrestleMania twelve was. That was one that of the same Rock, one where Chavo Rock, Rock, lost the ECW yeah, Rock, title to Kane. Which one was that? Oh. Which one? Nice. Where nice. Kane won the Battle Royal and then he challenged Chavo for the ECW title and won it okay. quickly. Okay. Nah, I don't remember mm-hmm. that one. Trash. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Y'all be sure to subscribe, man. Let us know how, what y'all thought about WrestleMania 40. For sure. And um, obviously we clipped in some parts with Brandon E. I can't wait cha- to see that. <laughs> <laughs> given, his, uh, given his expertise, but nice. he wanted to be here, but he had to work no. late. So uh, y'all be sure to subscribe, man. And uh, we'll be back again next Thursday with another episode. And we're pushing towards 600 subscribers, man. We're yes. on the road to 1,000. Yeah, we need to get uh, do everything. Share us around, all that good stuff, because we need to get to 1,000 subs, because we want to start possibly doing, lives, doing live streams yeah. and everything like that. So whatever you can, share us around, all that good stuff. We pr- greatly appreciate it, because we had a, quite a few people reach out to us and ask if we were going to live stream WrestleMania. Yeah. And I definitely think that's something we need to do for especially the big four. Yeah. Start yeah. looking at it. Oh, for sure, bro. It'll be so we much fun. We figure out a way to do SummerSlam, man. I'll find out what date it is make sure I'm not I don't have nothing going on. We can- hey, real quick before we get off here, I want to give a shout out to a longtime faithful listener of ours, and Catherine. Yes. We most call definitely. Call K-Dub, 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 KWB. K-Dub. Yeah. She is, every time, it doesn't matter if it's I got some shit to say or if it's over the top or the rewrap, she is on there. 
she's she awesome. talking. She's popping in. So shout out, Kate. Up, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, yep. Always checking out the content. It means yep. a lot. Yes, yes it absolutely. does. Absolutely. And shout out to you because she's always dropping up. Dropping up, she's Free membership. gifting memberships on my on me and my oh, yeah, lives. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She's probably gifted seventy five chat rooms. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Shout out to you, KW. KWB, so, you're the goat. You're the yes, goat. So, I, can we call her the chat rooms TV Oprah? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, accurate. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Accurate. And we out this motherfucker. Mm. Wow.